And we're back. Oh, no. Welcome to Frenemies. What happened? Why'd you switch it up? Uh, I thought we were coming back because we have been talking for so long. I th- oh, you thought we're we were back. coming back from a break? <laughs> welcome back to... Well, we are back, technically. Okay. Welcome back to Frenemies. If you are a new viewer here, please subscribe. Hit that bell oh, notification. Shit. Turn on your settings. Okay. Because now we have vlogs. You don't want to miss okay. an episode here. On I never the had the podcast. slam that subscribe <laughs> button before on this channel. I are like we... when people say it. So, so we're slamming subscribe. Are we also hitting the like Smash button? Smash that like button. Hell yeah. <laughs> and drop com- oh, drop a comment below. Tell me what you think. <laughs> Tell me what color are you wearing today on Let's your Let's get that t-shirt. engagement up, guys. <laughs> What's your favorite food? Comment. Do you ever see that on Instagram when like, okay, so there is a campaign that I do for a company that always wants to get like the most comments. So they say, we recommend asking a question. So like, I'll post a thing that's like, love this gray dress today. Question, what's your favorite color? It's like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, that's like. So, so, it works though. But it like, works. can you imagine? Oh, oh, hi, Trisha. My favorite color is purple. <laughs> Thanks for asking. No, queen. people do. I think people like to be asked a question. Yeah, but you don't read it. I read the comments like nah I don't care so oh, much it's so interesting <laughs> oh uh oh uh dragon slayer big pimp cum drizzler 69 what? says my my favorite color is yellow what is that for a username I don't know I'm, is that like a twitch I'm gonna start twitching I feel I'm gonna start I'm gonna start a twitch channel I think people would watch that but do I have to game or can I just talk you can talk yeah I'm gonna start that I'm gonna be a gamer girl okay disclaimer also yeah you, yeah yeah, yeah I, I, I want to do the hot tub thing. Uh, we could do a live hot tub for frenemies little stream. Frenemies hot tub? That could be fun. You started it. You gave me the idea. I watch your other Thank show you. and then I get ideas. I'm like, okay, I'm going to do that. Uh, real fast, just a little schedule update. There will be no midweek episode of Off the Rails. And After Dark will be on Thursday instead of Friday this week because we are moving offices. Finally, we're going to be moving to offices this weekend. So that's exciting. But just so you guys know, that little update. Disclaimer, I'm wearing a hat today because my hairline is a little off and my throat's a little raspy because I was putting on a performance over the weekend. So I was like screaming and yesterday I had no voice. So my voice is like Wait, slowly coming back. Can we see the hair? I just, I know when you say the hair is bad, I always want to see it's it. It's not What's bad. What's the here? Yeah, it's just my hairline's a little... A so off are you? Today. Did the hair girl drop the ball today? Well, it's a, it's a guy, but no, he didn't drop the ball. You know what it was? I put the cap on, and I think it shifted because we were doing Not a his, sponsored post. Well, isn't he supposed to pin it like, "Hello, hair guy"? <laughs> no, I, <laughs> but I think I was supposed to take it off after we did the post. I was doing a, a, a like a sponsored post, and mm-hmm. then I was gonna take the hat off, and then it kind of sh- it shifted my. Anyways, it was fine. Okay, you're okay. We got the Barbie hat. So. Okay. Yeah, it's not Excellent. a knockoff Barbie. They got the licensing. Okay, point. good. Thank God. Oof. Oh, today's episode is sponsored <laughs> by Credit Karma. Credit Karma. Thank you so much. I used so, Karma. My credit went up, and I bought a house. It worked. Yeah, it works. Honestly, I never bought a house before because my credit was so 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 bad. Like, not even statement loans would get me a house. So. First of all, I went to your... Okay, we have a lot to talk about. First of all, we went to Disney. We made a vlog. If you haven't seen it, we made Frenemies episode number one vlog. Me and Trisha at Disney for her birthday. Hey, I want to make more. Can we put a disclaimer on that? Sure. Moses shot at wide angle. Wide angle on the iPhone. So he could be close to us, but it looks but it looks farther away. But a wide angle means the person on the end looks the fattest. And who's oh. on the end... Frickin' well, me. I was too. No, it was you and then Hila. So you were always in the middle. So you had a nice skinny frame. Oh, stop. And I'm I was... so close to the camera. My arm is like the size of so, the turkey leg. So Mos- there's a Moses conspiracy to make you look fat in the vlog. But wide is good. We should wear it distantly. And we're trying to show everything that's going on. There was praise for Moses' camera work. I'll have you know. Close to you. Oh. It was Let's, only for the sound. I needed to be close to you. I was shooting with my phone. The guy, come on. The guy did, for, based on, he was on an iPhone at Disney. You got to give it up to Mo. Oh, my God. I looked so huge, which is fine. I'm not trying to trigger anyone. I don't mind looking huge. I'm just saying I'm not that huge. Uh. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Because you look so small. And I look <laughs> literally three times your size, which is not three times your size. Let's pull up a screenshot. Do you mind? Yeah. Let's pull do it an up. examination here. I Frenemies vlog oh number one. Because I didn't notice that. And, and then we're just like shoving our faces and my well, arm is like the size of the freaking turkey leg we're eating. So hold on. Let me let's see if we can get evidence <laughs> no, of Trisha. The thumbnail. I look like the oh, elf Excuse me, from look the Santa at me. Claus. I look like a <laughs> You look normal. You look so normal. I look like I'm a freaking elf. Like why? I look like I have no teeth. Like I look like. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you have teeth? Where exactly. Teeth? Where are my teeth? <laughs> so here's the vlog. First of all, um, 
I love this intro. I just want to play it for you guys. Yeah. That, the intro is everything. Our boy Cam Grants edited this for us. I was like, oh, baby. I was like, yeah, Jake Paul suing me, Disney suing me. My life is over. No, Jake Paul dropped it, right? Oh, we can talk about okay, that. Okay, Let's okay. focus on this, and then we'll talk about my life. This lawsuit. is what you want to focus on first. Okay, so how are we yeah, feeling on this? Look how skinny you are. You're in the center, and well, I'm like so I, close to the camera. Okay, so you're saying closer to the camera oh. makes you fatter. Look how big my shoulder is. Well, so, you're wearing this huge dress. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the length from like where my ear is to out to my shoulder. My shoulder doesn't go out that far. It's mm. extra wide. Okay, let me find a different shot. <laughs> I look like I have 50 So now on I'm shoulder. on this side and you're on this side. How That's do we a like better it? one because we're this more centered. Okay. Go, go to like, go to... Not Pop this bar? one. No, go to the first one we did, the Dole Whip. The Dole Whip was the... Dole Whip, okay. Now we're both centered in the no, screen. No, no, no. The one with like... Oh my There's God. a door whip situation. No, go no. Looks normal to me. Ugh. Which one you want? You want a different one? No, whenever she's at the end of the frame. That's the there problem. There it is. Yeah, that one. That okay, one. Okay, let's see your ass with a big ass corn dog in your mouth. <laughs> I just ate the corn. Thank you very much. Yeah, Trisha only. Ew! Look, that is the shot that I look like four nine in your size. You look so small, <laughs> and you look so tiny in the middle. That's some Dan, bullshit. do you have any? Do you? Uh, I mean, I don't want to throw you in the fire here. I'm, Dan, <laughs> okay, don't answer. I give don't answer. Free reign to say what okay, you you've gotten a pass, Dan. Speak your truth. <laughs> You've gotten a pass. Well, uh, and she's right that a, a wide-angle lens does distort um, the space on the edges of the frame. So I, I understand what she's saying. Uh, that said, uh, <laughs> you guys are both about the same distance from the center of the frame. No, what? Got, I mean, no. Uh, so no maybe Ethan's you're a little right bit further. I'm on the end. Like, Ethan, so put put your mouse in the middle of the screen, like right in the middle. Say what? What? Put put your mouse in the middle of the screen. Okay, yeah. But so middle, I'm guessing, is like right here. Yeah. So I mean, but you're far back, and I'm close to the camera. So I'm really close to the camera, and he's a little further I mean, back. Like, that's Mo's true. Just sitting right next. That's to true. Me. You're you're okay. Closer. You know okay, what? Fair I, enough, fair you enough. know what? Let's just listen, dude. That I was thinking when I watched that vlog, it put on so much weight on you. Yes, that's exactly. my whole yeah, point. Exactly. That's my disclaimer. I was like, that probably put 20, 30 pounds <laughs> at on least. Sure. At least. Look at us. Like, yes, you have smaller yeah, shoulders yeah. than me. You know, the first thing my sister said to you when she saw you was, oh, my God, you're so much skinnier in person. That wasn't on camera, by the way. That was in real life. <laughs> that was in real life. You yeah. do. You are. You are very tiny. Like, your only thing that is, like, fat is your belly. But it's yeah. not really even. I've seen you without a shirt. It's not Well, that's that, what like, I always say. I'm, I'm both fat and skinny at the same time. It's yeah, a curse. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's it's not good. good. I can't say that about myself. I'm not fat. I don't have skinny <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm working hard. This was a brutal week for me, but I'm getting back on it this week. Yeah, you always look like a But you know, one thing that happened is like you ate this corn dog. Mm -hmm. You just ate the fried corn and you gave it a 10. I was like, girl, how are you going to give something a 10? <gasps> you didn't even half of. But then I ate your dog, right? And then Ela didn't finish her dog. And then I ate half of her I dog. I saw you edit that out or someone edited it I out. I didn't edit I, I I wanted it in, but Cam Grants, he cut it out. He's trying to save you. Hey, he made the executive decision. I didn't Actually, give it's feedback. it's amazing you can eat like that and stay so skinny. Like that is. Amazing. I'm not that skinny. You are. You are skinny because you are a lot taller than me. We probably weigh about the same. I'm about six inches shorter than you, so it's it's amazing. I do need to lose weight. I know we're not talking about this on the show, but I am trying to like you can talk about what you want. Okay. But you are a princess on this day. Ew. Look at this guy. Look, like look at this. There. Look at the skinny legend with her diet coke. I'm such a dainty princess. Oh my god, you want to see? Oh, you know what else? I got really triggered after this. So I did an interview the next day, and it was for BuzzFeed or whatever. And the girl was like, "Oh, we just love how like confident you've become with your body, and how you're not about diet culture." And I was like, "No, I'm the fattest I've ever been. I hate myself. I need to go on a diet today because of Disneyland." I'll tell you why. Do you want to see the fattest picture ever taken? Yeah, of me? yeah, yeah, yeah. So you remember when we were in front of the castle and they were doing those professional photos? I yeah. hate professional photos of me because I just, oh, I never uh, saw those. Okay, well, I'm fat in all of them. So they're like, okay, here's our professional photos. There is no <laughs> lens distortion. This is true to self. Okay. Let's yeah. See. And so they, you remember they had me do individual ones, and I was all about it because I was like, yes, I need an individual. I need to post on Instagram looking cute. This is the fattest picture I've ever seen in my life. And I actually have a weight, Here, a weight it, album. Yeah. Okay. I have an album called Before because, <laughs> like, when I lose weight, I'm like, these are all my really fat photos. So I put this in the fat photo. Oh, this, and this is, is your this is going in your Before. Yeah. This was the fattest I ever looked. I was <laughs> so triggered. Okay. Do you want me to send it in the group chat? Okay. Yeah. I've actually never hated myself more. I cried like all night. Like you I was cried yeah. after looking at this photo. Yeah. And I was like, I never want to eat again. I was I was uh, so it was so sad. Wait, but Trisha, I thought you were you were a fat legend that didn't care. Until I saw this photo. And I was like, oh You're okay. like, what happened to the chubby girl who doesn't want to lose weight? 
Oh, she wants to lose weight. <laughs> that third girl's dead and desperately wants to lose weight. I, I, I just got to do it the right way. I don't want to like starve myself, but oh okay, my God. Okay, here we God. go. This is the photo that made Trisha cry. Oh my God. Look at my arms. Oh no. Those look like ham chunks. I mean, listen, I know oh. whatever I say is not going to help, right? No, no, just tell me. Because yeah, if I say, I oh. think you look fine, you'd be like, oh, I'm fat. That's how you I think I look, look like. I don't look fine. Look how little my head is compared to my arms. My arms are the size of tree trunks. Like, it's crazy. They don't look that big. No, it's oh, so fat. Look, They're I have no elbow. I have no elbow. <laughs> it's so sad. It's right here. And my dress, I'm so fat. And I just was like, I hated everything. Okay, I hated here, it all. Let's, let me tell you something that makes you feel better. Okay. Flashback to not that long ago when we were running with the parachutes behind us. Yeah. And then I took off my parachute belt and gave it to you. And there was like <laughs> this much space between my waist and yours. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Okay. that should make you feel skinny. Yeah. I did have a smaller waist than you. Like by a lot. But look at. Okay. Let's do a forearm test. Put your put your forearms near mine. Go like this. Like look this? how much bigger my forearms are than yours. Oh, well. I look like a turkey. Ah! <laughs> Triggered. <laughs> oh, should I not touch you? <laughs> You're so skinny. Mine is so fat. Look, put it right here. Put it right here. Oh, sorry. Let's sorry, put it guys. a cup in comparison. Okay, to forearm. forearm check. Okay, look forearm check. <laughs> oh I mean, my God. look, my body, my body stores its fat all in my ass, thighs, wrist. and stomach. Look at your wrist. It's so tiny. I have a petite body. You are so petite and they had a wrist. Mine is so fat. I'm so triggered. Can I touch? Which part? <laughs> Cause I, I'm not. Put your, yeah, can you put your whole? Put your. Try and see. Oh, like I can't put my my things around like that. Try it. Put your. Yeah. It doesn't close. Yes, it does. Well, you have. Okay. Well, you're squeezing. <laughs> <laughs> well, so Let what? Let me do yours. Well, I have. Oh, you do yours because I have small fingers. Stop with this wrist no, thing. What is it? <laughs> do yours. Do yours. Oh, I don't know. Okay, but I uh, look like a ham chunk. That's what it is. A what? A ham chunk. A ham chunk. Uh huh. I think this photo's. I think this is a cute photo of you. I wanted to die. Well, let's just Photoshop it to make you look skinnier. Can someone Photoshop it for me? Definitely. Reddit memes, whoever. <laughs> for sure, we can Photoshop this. Oh my God! Why did she have me pose like that? Ugh. Well, let's lose weight. You're gonna feel great. I'm on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do it. I'm. I gotta try for you real. You gotta cut out the mocha. Here, let me no, see the coffee. No, this is a tea today. Oh, it is. It is a tea. Because it was like gloomy and. Is there sugar in it? No, there's no sugar. It's just oh, like look citrus at you. And stuff. And it says Moises. <laughs> Moises. No, I am for real because like I really have been just feeling really down about myself. I just need to lose a little. But God bless you. All right, let's let's remember. It's fine, honestly. Like it's fine. It's just for myself. I need to, I, uh, uh, you know, I need to lose a little. I it's feel, okay. Well, I feel bad that this photo made you feel. So I got bad. really, really triggered. I felt really. Bleh. I thought it was such a nice photo. There was another one. Oh, my birthday. I had a I had a different dress and it made me feel so fat. I was just so I was so I was so well, weird. Oh, so, oh, the girl who made Oh, I won't say it. <laughs> so we went to Disney. You guys watched the vlog. It was fun. If you guys like it, we'll do more. I'm trying to think of other ideas to do. And also we'll obviously get more audio better audio next time. But it's not that bad. Um <laughs> and then other than that, we went so Trisha had her big birthday bash. Birthday. And I was like, that birthday was insane. The party you yeah. threw. You thought so? I thought, yeah. Okay. First of all, I gotta just say, it's, it was really small. I invited 12 people with their plus ones. It was only 25 that people. That was 12 with yeah. plus one? Mm -hmm. Wow. I think like so. like a popper, raging. <laughs> it wasn't at all, but thank you. It's like a kid's party. My party's always like, I love karaoke. I love like, you know, Benny Hanna. Like, I like the like, kid's stuff. So it was, to me, it's like a kid's party. So she brought like the <laughs> Benny, or how do you call that? The Benny Hanna type? Hibachi table. Hibachi. We had a whole hibachi show. It felt like it was your bat mitzvah, I'll be honest. Because everything was like <laughs> decorated. The chairs were there. There was balloons. Everything was like cast pink. Yeah. It was a perfect night, like in <laughs> looking over the hills while the sun was setting. Yeah. It was, uh, it was, it was and then there was a uh, so okay it was all outdoors everyone's vaccinated CDC. outdoors yeah i saw some people be like oh blah, 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 you, you complained about people shut up <laughs> we were outdoors and vaccinated that's literally what the cdc says to do no literally everyone that was invited i work with on a regular basis if it's music producer and music videos and music videos and stuff we always get like tested but everyone's vaccinated now everyone's yeah, it's fully fine. i felt totally so. fine okay just so but i think it's good to put a disclaimer because you know, yeah i agree reckless i agree let's go Vaccination. Vaccination. Did, oh, did you know that vaccinated people are 100% hotter? Who said that? That's a fact. Dr. Fauci <laughs> said that. Oh, okay. That's Love like that. on the... I don't know who that is. <laughs> you don't know who the Fauci is? Okay. <laughs> did you have fun? Yeah, you, you carried... So we food. went there... You guys are so much fun. We actually spent like three really? days together this, this week. It was, I know. Oh my God. It was fun. 
So anyway, we went to the party. <laughs> we got all dressed up in pink. Everyone was dressed up in pink. Everyone was like, wow, I love your outfit. I got it on Amazon like three days before. It looked so good. You guys looked so cool. <laughs> I had like a pink cowboy hat. I tried to get a fedora, but they didn't was have it. Was it a cowboy hat? It wasn't a cowboy hat, was it? Well, what was it? I don't know. It was some kind of pink hat. <laughs> and it was like, people kept coming up to be like, I love your hat. Where did you get that? I was like, Amazon. Amazon Prime, one day delivery. The pink Crocs, the pink Crocs. The pink good. Crocs, I was head to toe. But, um. Oh, can I also just say, I haven't exercised in a month. I, I'm gonna have any start exercising. I think that'll help me. Anyways, so uh, I, yeah. I don't think it's just by eating. I think it's gonna oh, have to Can I tell you something? Yeah. So <laughs> I've been exercising, and to f- just to flex on the haters a little bit here, I'm going to in- my Instagram. So I've been exercising regularly and feeling strong. And now, listen, I've not always been a powerful man. Okay, so this is our outfit, by the way. I love this. I was so excited seeing well, this. Well, Ela, of course, had to sh- showed up like super posh. I was like, let's have fun <laughs> and just get a stupid thing on Amazon. She's like, mm. Say, I'm going to dress like She's a like, model. She's mm, like, come on. I'm a fuck. You know me, dude. She, I got to. Everyone you know, loves get- her style. Everyone's always like, Hila has the coolest styles ever. Yeah, I mean, like, she she's an cool. icon. Yeah. You are too, though. Look at those pink Crocs. Mm. Well, it's funny. <laughs> I thought I was just going to look like a goofball, but I ended up actually looking like a real character. Like, a, like I could see this dude on, on at a frat party. You know what I mean? I love it. You also, that's kind of front of me is Crocs. Oh, I have a present for you, but let me know when you want me to give it to you. Oh, you brought it? Yeah. Because you got me all hyped up on it last week. Were you hyped? Okay. Yeah. Okay. But so anyway. Okay, Crocs reminded me of it. <laughs> so anyway, I was talking about Jacked Ethan from exercising. So one. Oh, yeah. Okay. No. Jacked. Here, I'll click you this. You look jacked. No, not that. This. And then, boom. Wow. I'm not going to lie. That wasn't always easy for, I don't think I could necessarily do really? that. Really? So you think you gotten stronger? Yeah. And I put her gently back down on her feet and she yeah. was like, hello. And she's like, daddy. She called me daddy. Oh, okay. Should we try to recreate that? <laughs> no, I don't think I can pull that off with you. Peace and love. I want I would, I almost, I, you know, I'll try it. I think I might throw, I'll try it. <laughs> I remember I wanted to jump on Moses from the Disneyland TikTok. Oh yeah. Disneyland TikTok. And like, you're like, I think he could do it, but I, I just am too scared. I'm too scared. No, to jump on you could anyone. do that. He, Cause you were saying you just wanted him to like, you wanted to do a dance move where you hop and he lifts. Moses you like lift from the that. bottom. I don't know. Maybe we'll have to vlog it if you try to lift me. Cause we need to practice it, but I'm so, I'm self-conscious about it. Well, when I used to dance, dancers lift me up all the time. Like when I used to go on tour, I was always getting lifted, but I feel like now it's like, I don't know. Let's get that FUPA loss. FUPA loss. Actually, I can't today because, well, it's going to be a day late by the time people see it. But today, May 10th, the day we're filming this, IHOP has unlimited milkshakes and Adam Sandler. And we're going to go get some unlimited milkshakes after this. So I'll have to start How many milkshakes tomorrow. do you need? What do you mean unlimited? Unlimited. As much as one you want. One milkshake is enough drink. milkshake. All you can drink in one sitting. Wait, what about Adam Sandler? T- start over. Start over. Yeah, it's on Shoe Boom today. It's on, it was on Shoe Boom. So basically, what? what you don't know this? Oh, let me show you. Let me How many out. milkshakes do you need? It's so, so rich. It. One milkshake. IHOP offers all you can drink milkshakes in honor of Adam Sandler's visit on May 10th, 2021. <laughs> Wait, Adam Sandler went to IHOP <laughs> and then left because it was too busy and they're giving out milkshakes so, to commemorate that? Well, he you didn't eat his there. Tweet. His tweet was, the, the real reason he left was because all you eat can eat did not apply to milkshakes. So he was like, I love. Like, he was like, I think he was joke. kidding. No, right. But yeah. IHOP took that and was like, we're going to market this and be like, here. So girl, we're going to go do it. So you're going to go to IHOP and drink how many milkshakes? I think at least three. I like strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. I like all three flavors. But there looks like an Oreo cookie one in there. Looks like Oreo. So diet tomorrow. <laughs> that's the, that's your, I'm I'm be honest with you. What this whole di- this whole I'm idea of a diet? No, I'm because every diet. day with you is like, oh well, it's free milkshake day tomorrow. Right. Oh, Hard. but I've got a mukbang twenty fucking. Uh, uh, I just mukbang what I eat. I don't do twenty meals at a time. I just mukbang what I eat. I'm just saying. How- I got sick after Disneyland. I threw up. You did? Yeah. You remember I was sick on the bus? Okay, so. And then I tried to like hold it together because like you you were just talking to my mom and sister. And I was like, okay, this is like my party. I should be like, you know, involved. Was it because of my pizza that made you sick? <laughs> I don't know if that's why. Maybe just all the stuff. You know what was it was? Was it a curse? Was it the Domino's curse? I don't think so. I think it was the noodles we ate that we did not film. We did not film our dinner. And those noodles were like sitting in my stomach in such a weird way. I think that's what it was. So um, <laughs> we did a food tour. Our vlog was about a food tour. And we ate all this food. And then at the end of the day, on the way back, by the way, we had this big party bus for like 100 people. And there was five <laughs> of us there and a stripper pole. No one used it. Uh, obviously. And we were just getting so sick because the, the, it was it was live. Oh, my. We were sitting in the very back. And I remember I was talking to Trisha because she was in the very back. And in one moment, she literally does this. <laughs> Like skinny. straight air. I felt skinny though. I was like, "Whoa, I get so light." I, I was like, even "Holy shit!" 
Because the the party bus guy was like going was like boning out pretty good. Trisha's just like, yeah. That- <laughs> I was like, holy fuck! It got me out for Disney. Do you want well, your present? Um, yes, I would love my present. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, let me make sure it's the right thing. And so we, anyway, we ate all this food, and then on the party bus, we got Domino's, because we're like, fuck this, that food sucked. Yeah, and, it was really bad. The dinner, I think, was not good. Right, but. which I'm sorry, that was my fault. It wasn't your fault. Well, because I was like, yo, this restaurant's really oh. good. But because of COVID, they're like, oh, by the way, you have to sit outside, and our men- we only have like <laughs> five items on, you- on our menu, and they're all the really bad I- yeah. items. Yeah. It was like limited menu. Oh, yeah, I was like sad. There was even, like no meat. By the way, even your mom was like, hey, can I get decaf coffee? He's like, ooh. It's like, I'm sorry. You don't have decaf? Yeah, it's like, dude. He didn't have, they didn't have like steak, chicken. They had nothing. Like there was nothing on it. I got these weird noodles. It was like, okay. All right. All right. Present time. All right. So what's the occasion? It was my birthday. It was supposed to be for my birthday. I was going to You're buying it. me presents yeah. for your birthday? Yeah. All I right. I giving gifts. Okay. So I got one for myself too. So we can like open it at the same time. Should I close my eyes? Wait, hold on. My finger's stuck. Oh, shit. <laughs> is that because you're... Is, do you no, have a fat thumb? I don't know. I'm just maybe. asking. I don't know. Do you store fat in your thumb? I don't know. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay, wait. This yeah, is let my first time space. seeing them, so I don't know either. So this okay, is like a surprise. it says Nike by you. Oh, okay. Don't look. Don't... Oh, it says Nike by Trish. Uh, it says Right you. here. Look. It says you right here. No, look at the side. Nike by Trish. Okay. Yeah, okay. okay. Don't look. Okay. Oh. Pull it out this way. Okay. Okay. Wait, how do I open it? I just pull it out. So this up. Oh, that goes up. Yeah. And then I pull it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Three, <laughs> two, one. one. Okay, now I gotta unbox it. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, dude. And wait, look at the back. Hold on, you gotta look at the back. Yo, these are f- hype as f- We're twins. Oh, shit, bro. And look at the, no, put them together. Okay. You gotta put the the left and the right together. Oh shit, friend, friend me, friend yeah. It's all like this. <laughs> <laughs> it says yeah. friend mes. Yeah. <laughs> These are super nice shoes. So that's our for when like our merch comes out, we could do well, like a cute little like TikTok. We're you know? definitely gonna do a photo shoot, and next time we shoot a vlog, we should wear our friend me shoes. Okay. Wow, thank you so much. You're welcome. That's some bestie <laughs> shit right there. I love matching and since Wait, you love like I dressing try it up. See if it fits. I, I hope it fits. If not, I don't think you can take it back. Did you ask Ela about the Yeah, I was in the group chat. Stuff. I kept asking over and over for your size. No one really <laughs> told me. You were in the chat. Yeah, let me check the size. Because my shoes really my my foot is they really They said weird. ten. Oh, these things are gonna fit though. They're like You, really you know high. what you do with a fat foot? You undo these all the way and make it really loose. Yo. It'll fit. I mean I don't know if your foot your foot's not fat. So Bestie yeah. status. I know we can be matching. Thank you. Awesome. I really want to shoot another vlog now and wear these shoes with we you. We should play like basketball with Adam Sandler in Malibu. Right. He does that a lot. Oh, for sure. We just have to drive by. People say they drive by. We know the basketball court. People say they drive by and he's really nice. One girl's like, oh yeah, he came up to our car and said hi because we're like, Adam, we love you. I and think he like I saw came that up. TikTok. Yeah. So maybe we should try. Okay. Well, let's just spend the day. <laughs> Like, we should just go play basketball in Malibu and maybe, like, get a little track. He'll see some cameras. I don't want to play like, basketball, but I'm down to just put up some lawn chairs and wait. Why? You're good at basketball. Remember we played our one-on-one. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Wow, thank you, Trisha. <laughs> you're welcome. That's really cool. Those look, and I feel like those. They're custom. They took so long. So wait, you can customize Nikes through Nike or what? How does this work? Yeah, and it's so hard too. Like you have the to like wait in line. Cool. It'll say sold out. Like I, they say sold out for weeks and like I couldn't get them. So I think they only do a limited number of mm. customs. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it's not official mm. for enemies merch, but you know, I tried. Mm. It's better than official. It's exclusive. <laughs> Black and pink is now frenemies. Um. So, okay. So we talked about Disney. Thank you for the shoe. That's very exciting. <laughs> Now I want to talk about this insane birthday party. Okay. So first of all, I didn't drink because, um, bro, it's so hard for me to drink these days, but I didn't drink. Me and Ella didn't drink. I know. I drank and I regret it. Like all day yesterday, I was just like, out. even today, I was just like, okay, I'm a little out of it. Like it just took it out Were you me. super, I couldn't tell, but it looked like you were pretty tips. I was tips at the beginning. And then when we ate, I got really sick when we were sitting down dinner. I was like, okay, I need to chill. And then I did a <laughs> little bit more. And then I have been drinking and like... Literally like two years. Like it's been so long. So I was like knocked out. That's what I thought. I was like, I don't think I've ever seen Trisha drink. Just like a special occasion. I was just like, let me just have some shots. And 
Yeah, I felt one it thing led day. to another. Yeah, I felt it like all day yesterday. I feel it a little today too, so I feel like a little like low energy. I'm just like, oh, but um, yeah, I was, I don't get hungover. I just get really like, Bleh. yeah, you know what I mean. I think and then that's I want to hungover. Eat. I think you do get hungover. No, I just wanted to eat up so much food. The next day, I was like, oh, I need food. So the, there was like so much food, so I was super full. But anyway, it, we were. Th- I mean, we were there for like four hours, and then I go, okay, Trisha, well, we got to go get our dogs, and we have a baby, we got to go, and you're like. <laughs> Well, it's funny because Ela's like, we can't leave yet. Trisha's gonna be angry. <laughs> she knows me so well. <laughs> I was like, I was like, what can we do? We've been here for four hours. We were not there four hours, bro. We got, you got there, there at six, six, and you left at like eight thirty nine. Boom! Yes, boom. Shit, we didn't yes. get home till twelve. That is so not true. Oh, stop! My party ended at twelve, so that was way after yeah, I left. We, we left at like nine, I would say. No, we Three left hours. at like ten thirty. Definitely not. We could probably, you know what? Moses, I, back I, I me know. up. You we, got timestamps? I have the timestamp. I have the proof. I have the proof. Okay. So I videotaped you guys singing your last song and you left right after yep. you did your last time song. Timestamp that. All right. So let's go. Timestamp that right now. I got it. I got it. Okay. So I filmed you guys. The very last song was, okay, here's your last time one. Timestamp it right now. At 10.02 Saturday, Ela goes to hug you after you sing your 10 song. 10.02. Okay. Four hours. I left at 10. Okay. Thank you. Good. So that's four hours. Okay. Exactly. I was there for the longest time. Yeah. And it's so not, we it go. Really fast. It didn't feel like it. No, it did. It was really fun. But the point is, is that we were. You're like, excuse me, the <laughs> per, the cup cake hasn't even come out yet. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was bullshit. Well, I, well, I was like, when's the cake coming out? I've been here four hours. <laughs> the whole point of a party is so people say happy birthday to you, so you're not alone, and you guys well, are about I to leave. I can't wait all day for your fuck <laughs> for like for your servants to bring out the cake. <laughs> oh my God, I paid people. I wasn't. And so that. anyway, the cake come out, and then we and then whatever we get the keg and then you go oh and by the way nobody's allowed to leave until you sing karaoke yeah 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 that's true although Moses did not sing karaoke I was a little but you guys did Moses got okay, out yeah you guys were very much like oh I don't want to sing karaoke and then you went for like an encore you, you were the only person to do like a double you're like you know what <laughs> I'm gonna stay up here actually and do another song I was like oh, okay <laughs> Well, people that's loved true. it though. People that is live true. For I it. did do that, but anyway, I didn't. Was really, I was really nervous because I was sober. If I was drunk, I'd been like, "Let's go in the why, pool." Why? Why were you nervous though? There was nobody there. It was like twenty people. Uh, excuse, <laughs> there was like that's enough, and nobody could see anything. Most people were drunk, so no one even knew what was going. I on. I know, but it was nervous. You know when you get nervous <laughs> and you want to shit your pants, like not literal, not. I mean, like literally. Do you get that? No. Nah. When you get really nervous, it makes you feel like you want a diarrhea. No. Did you? No, I didn't, but I felt like I wanted a diarrhea because I was so nervous. You know what I noticed is all the couples at the party went to the bathroom together. Like you and Ela would go and then Ari and her not husband the, would not go. Not in the same time. We were just like, oh, I got to pee. And she'd be like, I come with you. But everybody was doing that. And I never do that. I've never done that with Moses. I'm like. You're hanging so- out and you say, I have to pee. And they're like, oh, me too. Let's go to the bathroom so together. Funny. It's not like we were in the bathroom together. Our bathroom is locked now. We don't know how it happened. Oh, somebody. So, huh. And someone might still be in there. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody died in your bathroom. We can't get in. Our party planners like there's coconuts in there. It might smell. You might want to go get them. So we went to go get them, and it was locked. And we're like, what there's the someone f-? in there. Could you imagine? Did you account for everybody? No, because we we went to bed, and there was people still at the party. We're like, okay, we're gonna go to bed, but you guys can uh, continue. <laughs> that's happened before at my house, but <laughs> it's funny. I don't necessarily love that, but I'm not. I yeah, I know. What oh well, mean. it was outside, so we like locked the doors and went upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, have fun, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, we did. It was it was kind of everything, but um. Yeah, you guys had you, but you kill you really. If I was it. drinking, I would have. That would have been the funnest party ever because of the bar you had there and all the drinks. Was yeah, like so fun. It was yeah. such a great party. But you did really good. You were so okay. Good. So let me. So let me show some clips from the birthday party because we have here. Right. Uh, unless you not unless you claim my shit. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and, oh, wait. What is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got oh, okay. that. The, some of the karaoke got claimed, but so. What this, is this? This, what is is your, this? this is your house. Who's filming this? I don't know. Moses, probably. Oh. Yeah. Oh. This is what it looked like. It was like pimped out. This, <laughs> and then, then we had the hibachi tables here. Branding. I was like, whoa, bat mitzvah. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. The hibachi guys were funny, too. You were VIP seating. You said you were I impressed. saw that. I was like right <laughs> next to Trisha and Moses. Well, I'll like you guys know Moses like I was trying to sit people next to who they know well I was surprised I wasn't like under the table or like in the doghouse or somewhere like yeah eat, eat in the bathroom inside and don't bother anyone you could have gone in the house if you wanted you would have gotten that VIP access damn I'd be like can I eat in the kitchen I can't do this <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, you could have done that. Whatever you wanted. Anyway, it was really cool. People and were then, happy to see you. That's nice. <laughs> you, by the way, oh, I want to make a, a statement that your mom and sister are really nice. 
and really funny and cool. Thank you. They love the show, so I'm glad you said it. Yeah, they were very... Because um, I spent the whole day with them at Disney. Yeah. And it was really fun. It was. I didn't know how... I don't like mixing people in my life. I like to hang out with people like one-on-one. You know what I mean? Like, I only like to hang out with like one group of friends at a time. You know what I mean? So it was weird to mix... You know, well, they're but great. They yeah. they were really easy to get along with. They're really cool and funny. It's and kind of hard to go to Disney with a group because it's like you're all walking separate, and it's hot. I was so hot that day. I was so hot. I was so sweaty. Yeah, it was hot. I it's just like kind of hard, but it was it was a good time. I remember you guys were all like super winded from going to Indiana. I thought that, that was, was kind of fun. So annoying. Because like you walk, it's like a little <laughs> incline. It's like a very slight incline. And then when we got there, everyone's like, ah. <laughs> I can't go on. I and I was like, oh, I'm in pretty good shape. Yeah, you to- were. You guys, you guys really kept up. I was just so <laughs> tired. Our tour guide kept running ahead of us. And I thought it was because like, like he was just trying to keep us going. But he actually said he's supposed to be six feet apart from us. And the other tour guides were giving him like dirty looks at that. We weren't <laughs> six feet. Dude, I got, I'm not, I can't lie. The COVID Disney kind of, kind of, it's not as, it kind of sucks. It didn't have the shows, and it's more expensive. It's one hundred sixty dollars a ticket now. Oh, they raised the price for COVID. Yeah. Hmm. So and but so, the shit that really sucks is you can't eat food and walk around. Yeah. And like, so you get the souvenir <laughs> cup, like for example, the Dole Whip, and they're like, "Here's your Dole Whip. You have to dump it in the cup." <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah. I'm sorry, where's the magic now, bitch? That's like Broadway too is reopening in the fall to full capacity, but everyone has to wear masks the entire show. I was like, that sounds awful. That makes sense. You're going to sit there with a mask. I can't breathe with a mask on. I mean, on. that's the Ooh. least you could do if you want to go see a Broadway show. You know, I really want to see Broadway. I don't think I can. I don't think but I you can don't have a mask. But Disney, you have to like walk around. We walked around for like nine hours on a hot ass day. I know. I know. I was kind of miserable. I got sick. I told you I threw up after. I think I really from the sun and the eating. I was like so sick all night. I like, could not sleep. I, I, that's, yeah. I, yeah. 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 It, but you know what? The best part about last week was like, I was so busy and not on my phone that I felt so drama free. I didn't know what was happening on the internet. I was just like living in the real world. I was like, that's kind of nice. Yeah, you were in a good mood. It was happy. To, it was a, it was a very fun, good time. Because I wasn't on like death noodles, you know, then I go on death noodles and right. I get just sad. I'm like, oh man, drama. You know what I mean? Yeah. You never want to see your name on Twitter. Well, it wasn't my name. I was just seeing like, you know, Nicki Minaj is not following Cardi B. Oh, that breaks your heart. Well, it's like drama and you're like, oh my God, I'm stressed about it. That stresses you out? Yeah. Uh, I did. Wow. You talked to your therapist about that? <laughs> no, I didn't even <laughs> see my therapist this week. Maybe I was happier because I didn't oh, go to therapy. Shit. I wasn't drudging up old So memories. if Nick, if Mick, Nicki Minaj not following Cardi <laughs> B is upsetting you, then, you're, then we got to work on that. Hey, that's good though. I feel like that's winning. It's like, that's the thing that's upsetting me right now, you know? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. So here was my favorite part of the night is when um, <laughs> Trisha's sister and mom decided to do it. I love you, Moses. Pretty drunk at the time. I think I'll, I could say that. And not speak out of turn. I, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to yeah. speak out of turn. I think a little tipsy. So then they get up here and do. It was like, I've never seen anything like it in my whole life. Everybody. You love this. Oh, my God. It was the everyone was just like full attention, a captive <laughs> audience. It is the best karaoke performance I've ever seen live. Uh, and then Trisha went in and joined them. Am I up there at this point? No, this is the whole performance. I don't want to miss a second of it. No, I'm up there. Oh, you are. Turn it up, Dan. <laughs> This is the best thing <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> My sister started with the Hebrew. Yeah, that's even good. On there. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a wrap. That show is ready for tour to take on the road. Yes. <laughs> Tear it down, ladies. Maybe we'll perform it at the Steenies. Oh. Right? <laughs> Hell yeah. A little older. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, it was like this weird version of it. It was like this weird karaoke that did not make it. was weird. No, it sounded right on to me. And the words were, I love you, Jesus. But my sister was thinking, I love you, Moses. So it was just all confusion. That sounded right on to me. I don't know what you're talking about. Give it up for Arletta Kelly. 
<laughs> the DJ's is hyping yeah. up, though. Everybody, uh. they're like, yeah, but... Well, I was just like, oh, man. Oh, my God. It was so fun. I love karaoke at parties because it means you don't have to talk to people. You can just watch what's happening on stage. I didn't talk to anyone the whole night. I was just watching the show. Oh, God. You were having so much fun. I love watching people perform. Trisha was like fucking like typing everything. I up. love it. I love well, watching people Well, that's do that. fun. That's fun and supportive because if you go do karaoke and nobody's paying any attention, you're like, <laughs> oh, I'm the biggest loser ever. It, oh, really? I don't know. For me, I just really love like seeing people do that because it's like people that are out of their comfort zone. Like my director that does all the music videos, he's always so serious when I see him. But like l that night, he did like 20 songs and it made me so happy. I was just like, oh my God, just killing it. There was, you miss a lot. Like the performance got even better because people got even drunker. So people were just like <laughs> going out. But it was, it was so fun to have you there. And yours was, I think yours was actually the best. Okay, I'm going to play mine and Eola's next. After this, after this break, <laughs> yeah, after this break. So thank you guys. We'll be right back. Right back. Credit Karma has always been there to help you make better financial decisions, but now they want to help even more. With Credit Karma Money Spend Account, you can be rewarded for good money habits. Yes, and who doesn't want some instant gratification? Mm, daddy! <laughs> and if you're looking for a satisfaction, there is no need to wait with Credit Karma money. You could win cash reimbursements for debit purchases. I've never heard that. A debit card that gives you like... I agree. It's usually credit cards you get like the points. Yeah. But we're talking about debit cards. Giving you cash reimbursements. Boom. Here. Just for using your debit card. That's it. Credit Karma Money is a brand new checking account where you can win cash reimbursements for making purchases. When you use your Credit Karma Money debit card, you can win daily instant karma purchase reimbursements on items up to $5,000. And all you got to do is pay with your debit card. And if you win, you'll be notified on the spot and your hey. instant karma cash will be added back to your spend account. Oh, all you gotta do is spend oh, it awesome. and then they notify you and be like, hey, it's back in your account. It's kind of dope. I wonder the if the, does the ATM machine or like the credit card machine <laughs> like shoot confetti? Oh, congratulations, maybe. That'd be awesome. <laughs> um, Start giving where away over here? $3 million uh, in oh, thank karma you. to over 50,000 credit karma members and counting. Over $3 million is pretty, that's pretty dope. Open your FDIC insured spend account for free. There is no minimum balance required, no overdraft fees, no and and mm -hmm. free withdrawals from a network of over 50,000 ATMs. Credit Karma Money progress, progress starts, starts here. here. We still have to do this, though. Okay. You want to take it? Yeah, right now. Visit creditkarma.com slash win, win money. money to open your free account and start winning instant karma. That's the karma I like. Go to creditkarma.com slash win money to sign up for free <laughs> and start winning instant karma. That's creditkarma.com slash win money. Here, you do this one as fast as you can. Ready? Fine, fine print time. <laughs> Instant Karma is sponsored by Credit Karma. No purchase necessary. Exclusions and items apply. See rules. Banking services provided by MVB Bank. Member FDIC. Maximum balance and transfer limits apply. <laughs> okay, we're back. So first, me and Ela did a duet. It says it's going to get copyrighted, but here, let me just... So I can't actually play it, which kind of sucks. I was, I was actually so... I just love that Hila went up there too. You know what I mean? Because she's like, I feel like the two of you, she's like more quiet, right? But she even did the R.I.P. Oh, yeah. She did the I'm getting ripped. She had like, and it was so, it made me so happy because she's always like so much more quiet. And like, I was like, Aah. yeah, she's, she's, op she's up for things. She's opened a lot. I tried to get her to go up on stage by herself. She was just like, no fucking way. But the way. fact that she went up there, Moses didn't even get up there. No shade because Moses did so much for the party. But I'm saying like, Hila went up there and I was like, wow, that was, Moses, and she killed it. Yeah. Are you just shy? Is that what happened? You can admit that you're shy. No, no, but the time we got to that, I was too buzzed. You were I just couldn't. I <laughs> oh, you were drunk? Head. <laughs> too yeah. but I know. What does uh, that even mean? It's okay to admit you're shy, Moses. There's no shame in that. No, man, I worked so hard for this party by the time it started. I was just so done. I was okay. Like, okay. You guys take the stage. He doesn't sing even for me. Happen. Like when we while we're listening to Abba, I'm like, sing it, sing it. He like doesn't, he doesn't sing. And he's good. I've heard I him think sing you're sometimes. Shy. I think you're shy. You're shy. But it's a bit different, you know. Like some You're embarrassed. <laughs> and some people don't. You're embarrassed. Aww. I, just, I mean, and it's sweet. We love that about. Yeah, yeah. That. Oh, yeah. I would hate yeah. to ha be married to someone like you that, like, you just everybody can have oh, like a spotlight and attention. You oh, know yeah. What I mean? There's not. There's the world's not wide enough for both of us. I set up yeah. the stage for her or the camera. <laughs> well, that's what they say. Or the yeah, we're literally so wide. <laughs> we have a no wide space. scope. Line. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know what I mean. Like, I was with someone that like always was vlogging when I was vlogging. It's you don't want to compete much. for attention. 
It's not even that. I think it's just like annoying if someone's like obsessed with TikTok and I'm obsessed with it. And then it's like too much. You know what I mean? Like it's a good balance. I like that he doesn't need the spotlight. Mm. I'm not like jealous of people who want it, but you know, I just need all the attention all the time. So. Oh, I know. <laughs> but I, I like sharing like the attention once in a while. You know what I mean? Oh, thank you. Like at our wedding too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. At our wedding. Don't worry, Moses. Just don't say too much. <laughs> just keep it to a minimum. I still practice on that. She'll share for the frame with you. The wedding's going to be lit though. I mean, after I told you. Oh like, my the, God. Based on what your bir- your bat mitzvah was like, your birthday's going to be I have to right. have a bat mitzvah before when I convert. You get a bat mitzvah during that. Can I ask you a serious question? Yeah. How are you, uh, you are going to, how are you not broke? How am I not broke? Yeah. What does that mean? Because you spend oh. so much money. <laughs> I make a lot of money. I know you do make a lot of money, but like, holy fuck, bro. I, um, like how, that party must have been pricey. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, that party was pricey. Our wedding is like, the budget's like 350 Yeah. Actually, probably, four, actually with the, with the entertainment, we want probably 500 I believe I well, that's a lot. I believe that. But we're trying to get like a house, another house. I mean, it's a w- yeah. it's a wedding, and I'm I'm really happy you guys have a house now at least. So that, we're getting like, another one. We're getting a lake house on the lake near where are? we live. Uh huh. It's like a four million dollar house on the lake. It's Wait, really cool. near where you live. Yeah. Why do you want two houses in the closest? Just like a vacation house. Uh, and but uh, in the same neighborhood. Yeah, we love our neighborhood. We love it. Yeah, we like went to brunch there the other day, and it was like so nice and peaceful. You guys really gonna try buy another house in your neighborhood? Yeah. All right. But I think we should do it after we're married, so that way, if we ever get divorced, one of us can have a house. Like each of us can have a house. You, know <laughs> you guys I mean? are planning for the divorce. <laughs> Everyone no, we're gets not, a house. We're not planning, but it makes it easier. So like, you're hedging your bet. Yeah. So what? Which it, house do you want? That lake house or the one you're at now? Honestly, I would let Moses choose because I'd probably be the one to fuck up the marriage. He's going to be, be the water. He wants to be yeah, he the wants water. To, you know what he said? His retirement plan was was to be Lake Patrol. We saw a Lake Patrol guy out there the other day. And he's like, that's what I want to do when I retire. I was like, all right, go be the Lake Patrol. And he was being dead serious. Listen, thing. listen, if you guys are buying property, though, then I'm happy because that's that's a good thing for your money. I know you're just taking care of yourself. You've got something. You know what I mean? Tangible assets. I like that. We're also going to the Maldives at a hotel at $50,000 per night. For your and for your honeymoon, yeah, it's like a seven day trip. Is that the one that's like underwater? Oh, that's sick! It's gonna be so sick! I'm so excited! It's gonna be so exciting! You're gonna make badass TikToks there. Oh, that's all I'm thinking about. Like honestly, Dude, your TikTok's gonna be off. The even rails. the wedding, there's always those wedding TikToks. I actually want to go there. That looks like so cool. I'm not it's so cool uh, to be peace and loved about it though. I don't think I could ever spend fifty thousand dollars a night on a hotel room. It's worth it. It looks amazing, yeah. but that's just my peace and love. You should try it. The most I've ever spent on a hotel room was like uh, 3500 a night. Which one was it? Waldorf? No, no, no. That one was even close. The one in, uh, there's a, and yeah, Post Ranch in Big Sur. So, oh, yeah. 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 Really beautiful. So nice. Yeah. Did you get the house? Were you in the house? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think the we one the The one right on the one. cliff side. Yeah, we must have the same house. I love how they bring the wood. They bring wood. I had like the wood burning the whole time. And they just keep they bringing. They bring us wood. Well, I just, well, I used all the firewood. I was like. Oh yeah, it was cold. Yeah, that was the last time I did drugs. I tried. We tried to do Molly, and I was so sick. I was like, I'm, on his birthday, I was like, well, this is awful. Oh really? Yeah, I, was like, puked, so I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't do drugs anymore, which is good. Honestly, been sober since December, so yeah. I mean, I mean, look, if you're trying to, if you're trying to have a good, stable situation, drugs are will always make it worse, in my opinion. Recreational just, drugs. Yeah, I used to have fun on it. Even alcohol. I, the only thing with the post ranch was the food was so small. It was so small. I was so hungry. Oh. Get more. I'll take two of the. Hey, I'd like the uh, steak with potatoes. Uh, two of those, please. How many people will be dining with you? One. One, just myself. <laughs> I know when we order takeout, they always bring like tw- like twelve spoons. Like they always think we're ordering with so many people. That hotel is so cool, though. That was really fun. That's a dope one. I kind of look like um a killer. Like I feel like I'm hiding out from the world in this cap. In your Barbie cap. I feel like I just committed a crime. Who's that Barbie killer? What is that? Jodi Arias. You remember her? She like stabbed her boyfriend forty eight times, but she was like really cute. Moses, you hearing this shit? She's <laughs> idolizing some Barbie killer. No, I'm not. She got a boathouse all lined up for you. <laughs> She's yeah, got Martha plans. Style. So, okay. So here, okay. No, but so. like, honestly, when you stop like thinking about money, you just make more money. That's my advice to people who need money. Like, stop thinking about it and then you'll get it. When I stop, I don't know. I don't know if that. I think that's a privilege. To I think when you're rich, then maybe that. No, I used to be poor. I never. I wasn't rich my whole life. Like I feel like I was poor, and then when you stop thinking about it, it just kind of comes. I think I stopped thinking about money once I started making a lot of money. Mm, Hmm. Yeah, and it came. 
No, it hit me. Okay. It still kept coming in, right? You stopped stressing about it, so it kept coming in. Well, I'm working. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm working. I work too. <laughs> I'm a hustler. I know, dude. Hey, nobody would question that. You're a hustler. All right, and so I here. I've been for seven months to keep this, you know, like. Oh, I, can I can I make say something? Yeah. In the, okay. About in, my porn, is it bad? No, no, no. Oh, okay. In the bus ride home, <gasps> the party bus ride home. Oh, my God. Why are you bringing this up? I know what you're going to say. Don't even bring it up. It's so awkward. Oh, I it's should It's so it? awkward. Well, now people are going to want to Oh, it. it was cringe. I when I got back on I the bus. I didn't think I was such a faux pas. It's like that TikTok where people do the. You know, mm, 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 you know, like I didn't think it was such a faux pas. I think it was a big one. I think you're there's. Uh, Go ahead. No, yeah, I don't think I. You can say whatever you want. About I have it. nothing else to say about it. I'm, I'm gonna tell the it. story. No. <laughs> oh, people have, but we've. T- <laughs> yeah. But but okay, let me at least explain myself. No. <laughs> let me at least explain myself. <laughs> okay. We're on the party bus, and I we all got our own pizzas. I had my, you know, I love the pineapple, uh, uh, black olive. Uh. Are you okay? What is happening with you? I'm you okay? slow today. <laughs> pineapple, black olive, jalapeno. And I had like three slices. I was full. Nobody else wanted it. So I started picking the cheese off. Okay. And I was just eating the toppings. And the pizza looked like a burn victim. It was all disgusting. I don't know if you can make that joke in 2021. Why? It's insensitive to burn victims. I think it's a good analogy. It's a powerful image. Mm, okay, maybe just look like like a up. fresh burn victim, not like a healed Stop. burn victim. Stop! Don't cancel us. When you had that lawsuit, I was like, "Damn, we're all going down now. You're the leader <laughs> of the ship, and Come I don't want to sink with it. We're a duo, and we can't have bad." Press. Okay, whatever. Apologies to the to the freshly burned oh, out there. Stop! Oh my god. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, you looked at it, and you're like, "That is so disgusting. I can't look at it. Like that's just the grossest thing I've ever yeah, seen." Yeah, it was really gross. I, I physically had to lay down after it. And I said, "I said, Trisha, who are you?" To talk about gross th- things, you've shoved a candlestick up your ass. Uh-huh. You did say that, yeah. But, okay, so now let me clarify, because your mom <laughs> and sister were there, but everyone looked at me like, oh, my God, Ethan. Like, everybody Well, it wasn't me. even that. You kept going. You actually were like, you said to my mom and sister, you're like, oh, you guys don't know about the candlestick up her ass story? And I was like, well, like, we don't talk about that stuff. Oh, maybe that was when I took it too far. Yeah. But the reason I said it is because they literally know everything about this show. Why would I? Which means that I I know that they get know the meme. It's not something they want to talk about or you want to bring okay, up in fi- front of your fine, family. Fine, fine, but, but, like, well, they were looking at me like, okay, maybe I fucked up. <laughs> but they were... But I only said it because they're so familiar with everything they d- you do. By the way, they're your biggest fans, which uh, yeah, is really nice. Of course. But like that's a meme on the show, like the candlestick up the butt thing, right? Yeah, but it's like they don't so focus I'm, on that. Parents and sisters okay. don't listen to that kind of thing. They like hear it and it goes out one ear. They don't like focus and dwell on it okay. like you do. I thought you guys were all open and stuff. You guys are like all open. Not and about like, that. Oh my God. We're not that open now. Go ahead. Moses got the mic. Like he wants to say something. I'm just something. saying it's like when they find cigarettes in your pocket and they don't believe that you smoke. You when know, they find a mean, candlestick up at your butt, they don't pretend. It's not hers. Yeah. It's not your candlestick. Wait, what? I don't get it. I don't get that. I, I know what he's saying. It's it's the it's the parental. Yeah. It's uh, d- the uh, denial. Parental denial. I don't think it's that. I think it's just like. Who wants to talk about that? Like, I wasn't trying to make it. I wasn't trying to turn it into a topic of conversation. I was just making a joke, and everyone looked at me like. But you didn't, because you didn't like let it go. Because then you like brought it up again, I, I, and we're like, okay. I only said You're it like, because they don't know about that. And I'm like, well, it's no, 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 no. Okay, I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I only responded because everyone was looking at me like I fucked up, and I was like, what did I do? You all know about the story, because you all watch the show. Yeah, it's like the first and last time we hang out as a family. Oh, stop! We hung out Your that band. very next night. Well, separately with other people there. Why? They love me. Uh, yeah. Did they say anything about it afterwards? No, they didn't. They didn't. They like, they did like you a lot. They think you're funny and they were like. I won't bring it up again. In fr- I- they like Gila better. <laughs> me too. <laughs> They're like, Gila's so sweet. We love her. And I was like, I told her I can't wait to be related to her. But she didn't say that about you. So I don't know. Well, that's fine. I like, I, I feel the same way. Yeah. But you think that it's because of the candle story? I don't if that's the reason did i do something else wrong that no day? i don't think so oh i think you're just not as like warm what like Hila gave everyone hugs and I'm you warm. just like waved <laughs> at the end because of the i thought we were doing covid stuff. <laughs> we all got vaccinated and there were six of us 
I would have hugged them on normal circumstance, but like it's COVID. So it's like you're fist bumping some people. I still feel weird handshaking people. I would have hugged them. Were they upset that I didn't <laughs> hug were, them? No, they weren't. But it's you You live with Gila, so she hugged them. So you're going to get the same I know. It's Listen, experience. it's a weird situation. It's a world world we're living in. Well, I know maybe you're just weird. Are you weird with touch, which is totally fine? No. I, 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 before COVID, I'll, I'll hug everybody. Yeah. I'll even get one of these. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. They were, they liked you, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway. Anyway. That was an awkward moment that we shared on the bus. <laughs> it was great. I never seen you look at me like that before. Well, you were going through a lot then, too, so it's fine. Uh, you had just got a lawsuit. That's true, but it was, it. I mean, I was just saying, I have your damn... <laughs> So are we clear of that now, lawsuit? Are we clear? Oh, do you? Because I got put in that too. Because we, I was on, I was sitting next to you. They're during, not suing you, though. Well, I feel like by association, the H Street Podcast channel I'm a part of. Mm, Am I'm I just an employee? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, you're just. A, so all the employees are. Omitted. I would say you're a. You're not necessarily employee. You're a. Uh, I think I'm an employee because you like pay me. Yeah, but you're not an employee. It means you're like on salary or something. You're a contractor or something. Independent else. contractor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, even better. I'm further away. Yeah, you have no that. liability. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. Everyone was coming for me. Everyone was just like, "Oh, like this is the end of them. This is the end of the duo." I was like, "I didn't do anything. Don't come for me." Oh, people are so well <laughs> because Keemstar was like tap dancing on Twitter about how I'm going to jail and I have to pay 150 billion dollars. As an outsider, when I'm not involved in, the, in it, I was kind of like, "Ooh, you're getting all this publicity." I was kind of jealous. You were really? like thumbnail of Philip DeFranco of drama. I was like, <laughs> "Wow, okay, bestie." <laughs> well, anyway, the lawsuit is totally ridiculous, and Keemstar is, of course, as usual, a complete fucking idiot. Um, interestingly, too. He he admitted that he's the one that narked to Triller slash Jake Paul. He, when did he say that? He said that on some podcast he did, or some one of his friends said that he said it. I'm gonna talk about it on Friday because yeah. yeah. I, I don't I don't want to necessarily involve you in all that, but I can pull it up if you. No, want. it's okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Let's just talk about Disney and my candles stuck up. But my any, ass. anyway, the lawsuit. So here's what's going on with the lawsuit. Triller slash Jake Paul is suing me because. Um, they are, uh, oh yeah, I'm being nice. I'm being nice. <laughs> we're being nice for now because we're trying to resolve it. Mediation. Can I donate to Triller? Maybe if I donate on your behalf, they'll let it go. Maybe I donate. I was like, what? You're trying to fund their legal <laughs> fence against me? <laughs> no, Can no. we get a legal defense sub for Triller? Uh, wait, what if I like, what if I like go and like pay them or something? Can I get get you off of it? Well, we're working on okay, that. Okay, okay, and, uh, uh, Yeah, we're taking care of that. Trailer, we stand you. Hardcore. Love you. No, I'm not saying that. Oh, okay. I'm just not saying anything right now. Me too. I'll, I'll plead yeah, the fifth. Yeah, plead the fifth. If I get up on that stand though, I defend you. You'd be like, your honor, he <laughs> told me behind the stages, you bring in the receipts, you like dunk on me. No, 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 I'll just be like, it's a po No, I'll defend you. I'll just be like, you know what? We just like exaggerate. We're just, you know, crazy. We just say like, crazy things. <laughs> well, I'm surprised they even brought the clip of us talking about it. Well, okay, whatever. I'm not going to say too. I'm not going to say anything. He, they said. You think it's Everyone says for sure will be the downfall, but then they're like, Ethan's going to come from the back because something will happen with him. So they predicted that. Well, can we stop with the I know, psychic? I know. Oh, right. We're manifesting positivity. That's because what we're Because it's doing. like the, the psych, you know, that's the thing with psychic predictions. Like, is it real now? No, 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 not yet. Oh, that's it. No, 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 no. Oh, is that the real one? Oh, that's it. You know Do what I mean? Do you want me to manifest something good for you? Yes. Okay. Um, you are going to flourish so hard. And so you're going to be on One Punch Man. I'm going to be on an animated yeah. an a Japanese anime? Yeah, you're going to be a character on there. for you. That's what I'm manifesting for you. Whoa. Yeah. That is literally impossible. <laughs> I found that out about you this weekend, that you love One Punch Man, and I was like, I'm going to get you on that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for the manifestation. I'm so excited for you. If that happens, <laughs> if I get up on the Japanese manga slash anime, yeah. then I will believe in manifestation. Really? I, I got it. I got those powers like okay, that. Thank hard. I manifested someone's house. Like, can you manifest me that I get this house that I put an offer for, and I got it for them? Yeah, but like, do you see they already put in the offer, so it was like already pretty likely to happen? No necessarily i just gave them extra powers some well, might call it prayer prayer joel Osteen. <laughs> okay so anyway <laughs> what, uh, let me just uh, so the lawsuit jake paul and triller are well i'm assuming it it's, has to do with jake paul because he's butthurt that i've been talking about his credible allegations from the new he's being accused of rape okay well he did get punched in the face maybe karma 
He also got punched in the face. But anyway, they're suing me and a bunch of other people for ripping off the stream of the fight. Like, you know, there's these websites where you can illegally watch the fight. They yeah. just stream it. So there's a bunch of websites like that. And they include me in the lawsuit. I was like, I'm sorry. I didn't rebroadcast your stupid fucking fight. I just talked about it. Right. And what I talked about was completely fair use, by the way. And by the way, if you need a reminder, I'm the only person in YouTube history has successfully fought a fair use battle and won. And let me also remind you that if we do go to litigation, that my previous win will be used as precedent in my second battle. And you're rich. Thank you can you. go toe to toe all day long. I mean, I'm sure Triller has more money than me, but I don't think you need like. I wanted to go toe to toe with a comedian that was suing me because I know I have more money than him. I was like, let's do this. Yeah, you don't want to get into. A... I was in the right on that one though. I am allowed to talk about whoever I want to talk about. Like I can have oh, an opinion. So what, what was that? Do you are you not allowed to talk? No, about it? I well I don't want to because they're like crazy, but like they dropped it. But they were so like, we're gonna write a letter to your lawyer. So I'm like, here's my lawyer's information, and then they my lawyer charged me six hundred dollars to receive this letter that they sent them, and then they're, they like dropped it. Uh, you got a flight as fuck. The last, I was ready to go. the last lawsuit I got into cost me like two hundred thousand dollars. Damn, bougie. <laughs> it's not bougie. <laughs> it's sad. I should be a lawyer, man. I'd make so much money. But anyway, um, this lawsuit because their lawyer is like really bad. Interestingly, they hired like a really weird, bad lawyer. He tried to first he sued us and he put us with like 20 other defendants. And he alleged that we were in conspiracy with all these illegal websites. Oh, so right off the bat. And the judge is like, this is an illegal. This is an improper adjointer and threw out the case. Yeah. Except for one defendant. But they can resue me and which is what they're saying they're going to do. I might have to go pee. Is that okay? Yeah, only if you don't care about my story. So, okay, but I have to go. Go ahead. Are we, we can go. It's not go like, ahead. are we'll you going to continue when I'm here or you're cutting? Yeah, we'll cut it. So now that Princess Trisha has peed in the middle of my- You also peed. I'm kidding. You took a pee break. I'm kidding. But anyway, so <laughs> the lawsuit is, uh, it's been dropped, but they're threatening to sue me individually. It's the technicality, you know? So we're trying to figure out mediation, but I can promise you that I am not going to jail, as Keemstar has been promising, <laughs> which is just hilarious. Yeah, tonight. he's trying to manifest, maybe. Oh, no, don't you dare manifest. <laughs> you undo his manifest. Okay, okay. I manifest you um, going to uh, SNL to host. But does that counteract Keemstar's? Yeah. Okay, I manifest. No, because if he can manifest me in jail and okay. you can manifest me. I manifest you free as a bird. I see you free flying. As a bird with forever. Guns. Forever. Forever. That sounds like I'm dying. Oh, shit. Okay, don't. I manifest you just <laughs> sitting on your couch. Forever. Forever. You don't have to leave your couch. Sounds lazy. Can you just manifest me? Just unmanifest Keemstar. I can't do unmanifestations. You didn't. Mm -hmm. I don't this know how to do witchcraft, that. Witchcraft is uh, complicated. It's not witchcraft. It's like prayer. I it's can't like an anti-curse. Okay, I'm going. You fucked. can't prayer something bad on somebody though. That means you'll get bad karma if you wish something bad on oh, someone. Really? It comes back. to you, you can't manifest bad things. So what's going to happen? It's going to be boomerang effect. He manifests. It's like the you rubber to, and glue. He's going to end up going to prison because he manifested that for you. So it's going to backfire. Oh, him. it's rubber and glue theory. It does happen. Yeah, for sure. I'm rubber, you're glue. Anything yeah. I say, bounce off you. Oh, Keemstar, you just got hit by the rubber. And Moses nodding. Yep, that's how that's it works. That's not like my thing. That's just the universe. Go ahead, Mo thing. wait, Moses. You have insight on this. Yeah, if you wish somebody something bad, it comes back to you. That's the evil eye thing, right? It's the worst thing you can do. Yeah. Ooh. Maybe you should get an evil eye. Get a necklace, to Keemstar, and ward off the energy because you brought it onto yourself, not me. Well, no, I don't want to. Hmm. So if I say no, Keemstar, don't get the evil eye. Am I wishing bad on him? <laughs> he should get the evil eye because it's going to come back on him because of karma. But so I he needs it. It won't come to you. It's going to come to him. So he needs to go get it. Okay. So he like erases that. No, but what? So if I say no, Kimstar, don't get the evil eye. So you receive all the negative energies. Don't say that. Oh, so that's bad. Now I need an evil. Just eye. wish him well. <laughs> Be like, good luck. <laughs> good luck, Kimstar. <laughs> You're gonna need it. Oh, oh. That's what okay. he said about yeah, me. Yeah, I remember okay, that. Okay, all right. Like throwback. Yeah, throwback. Okay, so here we are singing. This is like the <laughs> biggest detour ever. I can't show much because it gets copyrighted. But here we go. We sang. You look great. You guys look like you're at the Copacabana. <laughs> I'm sober and very. Oh, we sang Love of My Life. And we were so good, by the way, it got claimed. <laughs> Love of my life. Here, let me just skip to so the middle. Good. And then. Who uploaded this? Oh. Okay, we got claimed. <laughs> I feel like that's all it takes. We'll tell. Anyway. We'll tell? 
Well, I mean, we'll, we'll hopefully be able to tell if oh. it gets claimed or not. I can play you without sound. It. What it means to me. It's on my TikTok. Go follow me. She's like Fish 88. I put it up there. Oh. Love of my life. And then I said, okay, Eli, you get out of the Yeah, state. what happened there? You were just like, okay, I'm going to go do a solo one now. Bye. I was like, now listen, <laughs> I got, I said, it's Trisha. I know she's the big girl tonight. Big. I was like, literally, you should see the size <laughs> oh of her. Oh my God, why'd no, you say I'm big? Kidding. I thought, I mean, why you're the you star. Big? I didn't mean that way. I meant she's <laughs> the star. You can say birthday. I said, she's person. the person. Here, you, you can, can call s- me girl. But here, let's see. You can see what I say, hopefully, in the beginning, if Moses included it. Did you get that part? We'll find it. So let's see. Whoops. <laughs> you like living your best life. Look at you. You look great. Oh, I'm not. It's on the screen. Idiot, Ethan. Dumbass. No, Loser. don't don't say those bad things kidding. about yourself. I think it's funny when I put myself down and people get really, they get really worried about me. Oh, I know. I hate when people do that too. When I'm just like, I say, oh yeah, my music's shit. I had someone be like, don't say that. Don't say that about your music. It's like a joke. It's like I'm just, yeah. I'm obviously putting money into my down. music. Yeah, and like, I'm having fun. It's more of like setting your expectations low for people so they don't think you're like, you know. Crazy. I don't know. For me, I think it's funny when I make like a minor fuck up and they go, idiot, fucking, I hate myself. Right. I just find it funny to, for play. myself, I guess, right. to overreact like that and people get really worried. <laughs> but anyway, here it is. I was worried about you at the beginning of the rap. You remember at the beginning of Frenemies? I was like, I feel like you're going to die soon. I don't feel that way anymore. That's bad manifestation. No, I don't feel that way anymore. Yeah, but you manifested it back then. Who but did it didn't say? work. <laughs> you were trying to kill me? No, but I thought about it. I saw it in my dreams and I was like, shit. Remember I was worried about you? I was like, oh, something bad But who happen. says it's not going to happen still? It's not. I see only like positive. I see like, you know what I see in my dreams? I see you're like dressed in like glittering gold cape. <laughs> For real. Kind of oh, like yeah. Pocahontas. You remember when the guy comes to like, we're mine. You know, he's like in a gold glittering cape. His name's Rat- Ratcliffe or something. Pocahontas? Was he one of the colonizers? He was, but I see you in that cape. Not You're not a I'm colonizer. A colonizer? No, 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 no. You're in that gold I'm a cape, genocide. Though. I'm mass murderer. No, you're in a gold sparkly cape in my dreams. Okay, that sounds good. Okay. That's pretty epic. Thank you. Like Ch- like Elton John or Ch- or what's his name? Elton John. Or who's the Liberace? Chachki? Le- Liberace? I think more Elton John. You're more of an Elton John. I love Elton John. I don't. He seems so mean. He seems like an asshole. He's genuine. No, people say he's mean. Look it up. I don't care if we, I don't care what he is. I love Elton John's music. I I think he's the best. I don't think his music's that good either. I went to a concert and I was like, eh. Stop. Like the alligator croc or rock or whatever it is, it's bad. Okay, that's like first of Crack all, that song's out. good. Second of all, that's like one of like a billion hit songs he has. I like the Queen movie better than the Elton John movie. I didn't even know there was Elton John movie. Really? It was, came out right after that. That's what I'm saying. I don't watch the biopics. They're too, they got to chill with the biopics. He married a woman. Did you know that? Elton John? He was married to a woman like at the height of his fame. Oh, before he was out. I mean, I think he was out. I think he just, the, man, oh, the person who was sleeping with the manager was like, you need to like marry a woman. So he did that. Oh. Anything else? I guess Alan John's not coming on the show after All right, that. let's see if I called you fat or not in the beginning. You didn't call me fat. Hey, how could you? Listen, it's important. <laughs> what? Uh, is- well, I told, him I, ha- I told him when I came up, I was like, yo, can I do two? I want to do one with my wife and then one for my wife. Oh, you did tell them ahead yeah. of time. You have VIP treatment. Well, well, what like you said, it wasn't. It wasn't like, and it wasn't like everyone was waiting. I kept seeing like your people, the same people doing it over and over <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah. So I was like, it's not like there's like a huge line. <laughs> So I didn't think anyone cared. I don't know. No, it was cool. I was like, okay, <laughs> encore. So anyway, by yourself. That's what I would do too. I'm okay, this by not go out to the one girl who's always number one in my heart. Who is Wait, what did I say? Just to make sure I didn't call you fat. You didn't call me fat. I didn't well, think you, you called me fat you. here. You just called me fat. Listen, it's important. What? Is uh, I know it's always, I know it's all about Tristan tonight, but this one's oh. got to go out to the one girl who's always number one in my heart. Who is? It's my beautiful <laughs> wife. Here. Oh, the crap went wild. Aww, that was so cute. I'm embarrassed now. <laughs> so, honestly, I can't play this. It's, uh, it's on my TikTok. It's spend my day. Yeah, that was weird. It was a good choice. It was a different choice. Why, Al Green? You didn't like the song? How come you did that voice? It was a different voice than you used for Love of My Life. Because that's how Al Green sings. Okay. It's like a false So you're doing like an that? impersonation? Yeah. Okay. I thought maybe you'd make it your own. Being next to you. Okay. Being close to you. I can't explain myself. Sound just like him. Yeah, you were, it was, I thought it was supposed to be funny. But I... Were you trying to be funny, though? 
I mean, I know I'm not a good singer if that's what no, you're no, asking. No, but you are a good singer. So I was like, <laughs> oh, is he like trying to go for like impersonation or is he trying to go for funny? I was just having a good time up there. Oh, you were? Well, that's good. You weren't well, like Well, I don't know. Listen, give me a break. You seem like Yes, I was embarrassed. Time. You were? While you were doing this? I literally just did this so that you would let leave me with oh. the party. <laughs> People were living for it. They <laughs> loved it. I loved it. That was the best. That was the highlight of the night. I threw my hat. I tried to throw my hat to Ela, and I ended up hitting some dude not paying attention who was drinking. <laughs> yeah, you, right, I, you I think it's right here. That. Wait, let me see. I think it's coming up. <laughs> and let you know that, that love is real, real. When I got when I when we looked at the house, I saw the stage, and I was like, mm, karaoke for sure. There, was dude, awesome. that was so right? it was so perfect for the karaoke. <laughs> it's like meant. To Did be anyone crazy. ever jump in the pool? No. Oh, that's. I know. I was hoping someone would. It'd be so great. I'm just. I'm waiting for the hat throw. It's coming. Oh, I think you hit. I know you, <laughs> you hit. Your mom and sister are so funny. <laughs> You love me, but it seems to me. Okay. I was trying to hit all the high notes. That's good. Oh my god, you were really killing it. Uh, Maybe I should have karaoke at my wedding. Why not? You, <laughs> you, I'll get drunk at your wedding for sure. Why? Why at my wedding and not here? Just because it's like later in the year. I'll plan for it. Okay. This was like when well, you invited me like one day before. You're like, oh, I guess. <laughs> so not sure. You're I like I didn't really want to buy. Gave you a week. Also, you guys live too far away, I'm going to be honest. So I hit through the hat, and it hit this <laughs> poor guy who wasn't paying attention. Yeah, there. He was just drinking, minding his own business. Yeah. Okay. Aw, that was so cute. Yeah, it was fun. Good times. And then I, I stage dove and crushed a bunch of people. Did not I want to stage dive so bad. <gasps> Can we do that as a competition, like rock star day? Like we just dive into a crowd or something. See who's like, because I feel like see you have really good. See who, see who falls through. <laughs> see who can crowd dive. Because <laughs> I've seen people like DJ Khaled st di st <laughs> stage dive and he just hit, he sinks like a fucking rock. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm I scared. I would do it though. I give it a shot. Okay, so let's try and because you just it have out. to gently glide up. Because some people are like, "Let's go!" Like DJ Khaled, and it's like <laughs> <laughs> you hit the ground. Sure, let's do it. Okay, I'm down. All right. Um, somebody made a meme about your character development on the show. I think I have some stuff to show you that I think you'll I enjoy from the subreddit. Oh. Okay, this was a kind of a complicated meme. I don't get this at all. I hate these character things. Well, hold on. Did you read it yet? Well, I just automatically see people that I don't know who they, what's it from. Like, it just looks You weird. don't know uh, 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 Avengers? Never saw Endgame? it. Nope. Okay, well, it should still make sense. Well, I'm surprised you missed Thanos. That's kind of a big deal. Don't know who that is. So, someone said, rip Trisha's phone case. Did Trisha have character development? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. What did it cost? Adam Sandler. I don't understand at all. So, in the oh, movie, yeah. so in the movie, she says, uh... Something. What did she ask him? Uh, it's just like, did you get what you tried? Did you get what you wanted? Or yes. Whatever. And, and she says, what did it cost you? Everything. That's well, what he says in the movie? Yeah. Sounds cheesy. It's Extremely. <laughs> so that's what it's supposed to be. Those kind of movies. I thought those movies were like, eh, everyone's like, these are Why? so cool. No, it was a good, but it's true. It and wasn't. Cheesy like, can still be fun, but yeah, it's definitely cheesy. Oh, like cheesy. Okay, wow. Not here to hate on uh, Endgame. But why Adam Sandler? It didn't cost me Adam Sandler. I still love him. I'm going to You play basketball ditched with him. him. You freaking ditched him during that show. Why? What did it, what happened? Why did I cancel You said it? I was talking about how much I hate, I think his movies suck. And then you're like, okay, I think I'm out of Adam Sandler. You forget last week? Yeah. Okay. Kind of. So I guess that meme doesn't work <laughs> when you can't remember seven days ago. <laughs> I made a meme the other day, but I don't know. Okay. And then here's the my James Charles update. Um, James Charles. So he was, he sent this guy a threatening, he's still threatening people, man. You know? What'd he say? Let's find out. Oh my real? God, he's uh. dead? No! I guess mute it, Dan. Okay, here it is. So he said, here, let's see if I can zoom. Oh. I wish it showed the date. He said, hi, can you please remove your TikTok of me? Oh. If you don't, then my legal team <laughs> will be in contact with you. Team. Thank you. Not the legal not team. Not that shit again. <laughs> if someone tells me my legal team will be there, they don't know. That's not can happening. I, <laughs> can I tell you guys a tip? 
When someone's <laughs> actually going to sue you, they don't fucking message you. Ew. They just sue you. I hate, this is like the fifth influencer I've seen this week, like threatening these like young kids to be so like, shameless legal team will be in contact. It is no, like, they're not. <laughs> it is so embarrassing, so shameless, and so so dumb so dumb don't ever believe anyone also you can post whatever you want on tiktok as long as you're not like hurting somebody or yourself <laughs> uh excuse me my legal t- can you remove that tiktok of me i wonder what it was i want to watch it now people can make straight up lies about you and they still can't see you like i've had people like make up the crazy oh. shit about me and i like you still get oh. my lawyers like you can't really see. it's like you have to prove damages That's money the loss problem. And- exactly it's, <laughs> it's so, so hard sucky. it's like yeah because like um yeah people if sure like the thing is, defamation and slander lawsuits are really used. Yeah, you have to prove damages. So let's say, like, the New York Times prints it goes, oh, Ethan uh, is a murderer. Okay, whatever. Yeah. And I go, oh, and then I start losing work. Right, right, so right. So then I have, like, a real defamation lawsuit right. for my losses. But you have to prove monetary damage. It's so hard. So, so James Charles is going to. Don't gonna, let these people bully you and oh, posting your TikTok. Stop it. <laughs> Nobody's suing some random TikToker. That has never happened. Ever. Never. It's not going to happen. I was <laughs> threatened with a lawsuit by some old ass comedian for doing a TikTok saying I think he was say, creepy. Say, I can't say his name. That was the same guy you mentioned Yeah, before. but it's like, and I, that's why that's I was like, sue me. Oh, I know who you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. I was like, what? It's stupid. Oh, I saw your video. It wasn't even anything defamatory. You're like, he's creepy weirdo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, sue me. I would love it. But you I, removed it. No, so you didn't. No, see. it's still up. Oh, you didn't remove no. it. No, you can say what you want on TikTok. If someone's a public figure, you can give an opinion about someone. Damn. Right. You can't <laughs> say this happened. You know that, right? Yeah, I mean, like lying, I guess. But even, but even these kids who just like there, there was one influencer. Someone did. They had a picture, and her whole account is like. Why don't you say who it is? You didn't pr- take it down. It's just like not worth it. You don't want to like, push it. Well, because I already paid six hundred dollars just to accept a letter from this lawyer, and then they never went anywhere. So I was just like, okay. But um, there, there's one influencer, or there's like a TikTok page, and she has a ton of pictures from VidCon with influencers. And her thing is, she shows the picture and she makes up a complete story about like how they were assholes or something like that, but they weren't. But you but kinda, is it a joke? Does she? Yeah, do that? yeah, yeah. Does it to yeah. everyone? So she has like Shane, David. So that's all these not people. illegal. Yeah, but then one of the influencers, I'm not going to mention this person, but they were they were like reach out to her and said the same thing. Like my legal team is going to contact <sighs> you. It's so like, embarrassing. You can, but so, even in that case, when no. you lie and it's like slant, it's still no, like it's not. It, that is legal because it's obviously parody she does based it on her, her track record. But she's then she comedian. showed the DMs and she's like not taking it down. <laughs> so yeah, good, good for, for her. her. Yeah. So anyways, don't let people bully you, especially if you're like a minor. Like, don't give people your information. I've seen influencers be like, give me your parents address. I'm going to sue you. Don't do that. Like, they don't need their. That's not how it also, works. And like I said, if somebody really going to sue you, they're not going to send you a message saying uh, you have to remove this. Or I'm going to sue you. That's them being cheap because they can't even send a cease and desist so they're exactly. being extremely cheap to try and by the way anytime someone refers to their legal team they're full of shit yeah there's no legal I send you the TikTok. oh let's go uh, it's, hopefully TikTok? hopefully i'll be getting a hold of it, james it, legal team it's, now it's so, so mild i'm not i i'm so confused why he would oh that's awesome bother. i love james being such a petty little fuck a friend of mine said james charles wanted to call into this the is show. it my photos mm-hmm. Um, this is before and after, and I'm also going to show you this pretty sunset picture. This is this, it? Like, balcony was in the way. It was so annoying. Um, I wanted to get rid of it. You can also erase people. Oh, they're photoshopping amazing. him out? Um, this What's is happening? what it looks oh, like before and after. Oh, because it's just a joke about James this Charles being the worst? any picture, I use this on so many of my photos. <laughs> they they um, photoshopped him out. Oh, this is the, what? This, this is what he's got mad at? Picture. That's actually pretty this impressive photoshopping, though. It was so annoying. Um, I wanted to get rid of it. You can also erase people, which is amazing. It's a joke about erasing James Charles anything from any wow what a fucking bitch what is his life that he has time to like look at this stuff and like well he's got a lot of time now he ain't doing shit (laughs) what a fucking loser james charles is my least favorite person in the um i mean on youtube Oh, yes. Oh, well, no. Kim Stars probably. <laughs> well, I don't know. Kim, I mean, it's it's tough, but they're both pretty. I mean, yeah, Kim Stars the worst. I won't. I, I, won't, I won't. But James Charles. I is, can't even mention who the worst person on the Internet is. I can't. Don't even mention. I think it, I know. You know, but don't mention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Oh, my, but I can't get over what a petty little fucking piece of shit he is. Yeah. James Charles, erase you. Let's all erase James Charles. I love the message of this. Hi, my le- what? What exactly is your legal claim, James Charles? <laughs> well, what yeah, exactly what is your is legal that? team going to be saying and in the what letter? Hear about this? This is so like not. Can you imagine? <laughs> Hi, it's come to my attention that you uh, er- took a photo of James Charles and erased him. This we consider. Uh, 
<laughs> Defamatory? No. Copyright infringement? No. Is it, co is it a copyrighted photo? No. People are so stupid. It's a loser. Yeah, I always- uh, Oh my god, oh. he's- I always say this, you know who has legal teams? Disney. You know who doesn't have legal teams? Any influencer. <laughs> oh, should I talk about I got an apology or no? Is that what we're talking oh, about? Oh, yeah, because it's coming up. It'll come up naturally. Oh, you have it? Okay. I, I, yeah, I was going to bring it up. Stay tuned for the apology. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's another James Charles cartoon that I thought was funny. James Charles, uh, I'm waiting to hear from your legal team. Oh. Hey, sister! <laughs> I love the hair. The hair is so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, he has this Chipotle. tape over the Teddy Fresh. <laughs> I got you a spring chicken burrito. <laughs> hey, that's my joke. So like I'm young. Oh, hey, James. Let me slip into something more comfortable. Ew. Bruh. Bruh. So good. <laughs> Hello, James. Why don't you take a seat? Oh my, oh god. my god. Yo, who made this? I don't know. They gave you credit for the idea, though. Damn. Okay, that's nice. Shout out to them. Shout but out. Who, who, who is it? Wait. It says it right there under underneath. Uh, Full credit to... Here, I want to make sure this guy gets credit. On they YouTube. Work. Damn. Yeah, and all this... I love that. Oh, it has a lot of views. Good for him. Um, Mighty... Davilio. Mighty Davilio. Mighty Davilio. Yeah. Davilio. Shout out to I'm gonna link. Let's link him in the <laughs> description. Okay. I'll make a note. Mighty Davilio. You link me in the description? Damn. You're literally oh. always the top. You are always <laughs> at the top of every description. At Trisha Paytas. Your uh -huh. YouTube channel. Or Blonde Sundal. Yeah, I was like, I might need to channel not to repeat it. Well, whatever your fucking channel is. <laughs> oh my god, you don't even know my channel? Well, it's like a weird name. Blonde Sundal for MJ. Thank you. Well, yeah. Dan's the one that writes it. So oh, know. he knows. Okay, I, I trust you. Do hey, you want to see how fucking prominently we list it? <laughs> Do you really? I actually have no idea. Yeah, every time, really? dude. Here, here's. Damn. On like the second episode, you made a comment about it. And, really? And well, you didn't link me? Yeah, and I was like, well, you're right. I should. Ooh, skinny legend there. Okay. Why is it so skinny? They got hair, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's the hair. God, I look good there. Mm. <laughs> Compared to oh, well, me. Oh, wait. Does, okay. That's oh, well, this one the sponsors. Top. This one If they're sponsored, sponsors. we have to put the sponsors first, but right after that. Lame. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> would you rather get paid? Everybody knows who you are. You just have Trisha paid. No, I got more subscribers because you guys are doing that. Because I'm like, why is my subscribers going up? I was always at 4.9 for like literally seven well, years. It's, <laughs> well, it's from, yeah, frenemies. But now I'm at 5.1. So. I know. It's awesome. Your channel's growing. It's great. Yeah. Here, look at this. Trisha's YouTube. Damn. Become a member. That's here. So cool. Wow. Trisha's channel. Everyone go subscribe. Damn. Apparently... Damn. That's me. That's cool. Yeah, go subscribe. I eat. Dumb. <laughs> That's my pitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, James Charles. That's good times. And then, oh, here's another little James Charles update you might enjoy. I don't enjoy any James Charles update. You might enjoy this one. I don't like him. I hate, I really. Ugh. Okay. Morphe puts him on sale finally, but wait till you see how much. Okay. Morphe puts James Charles palette on sale on their website. $4 off. Okay. You like that? Yeah. I mean, a sale is anything. Yeah, that's significant. It's just like, bitch. 35. 35 is still a lot. Exactly. Wait till you see one of these ones. Okay. Five, or, uh, let's use some credits of numbers. They're six dollars. We should cancel Morphe. They're so problematic. Like, let's put them on the list to cancel. Bro, this literally, this is like, I just, I can't get over. They're still selling a shit. The fact that they're just like, they're so, what is the word, like tone deaf, where they just don't understand. Like, okay, you're gonna like pull everyone else's palette, but you're gonna keep James Charles up there. Like, you're. I idiot. don't think they're toned. I don't. The company or I don't think so. I don't think he's toned up. I think they just have like millions of dollars of his shit that they are don't not well, want to take a major L on. You're gonna take an L on it if you want to like. But I'm saying you could sell it to Ross or some dumbass thing and like cut your costs, cut your losses. Ah. And then this one, you get a whopping two dollar discount. It's better than nothing, I guess. Don't buy this palette if you're out there. It's shit. Morphe products are shit. I bought one the other day. So seriously, I bought a palette so serious. I was trying to be like, Madison Beer did a makeup tutorial. She has a palette with Morphe. So I bought it and I was like, okay, I'm going to be a Madison Beer makeup. Like I genuinely wanted to like look like her. It was the shittiest palette ever. It was like chalk. It's literally chalk. It makes sense. They're just trying to cash. Like I bought it myself. I wanted to whatever. I was like, I really wanted to look like Madison Beer in her Vogue makeup tutorial. And I like got the palette and I was like, this is the shittiest palette I've ever used. 
Yeah, because it, cause it's like you're cut when you're doing collabing with an influencer, it's like you're cutting up the profits. They're just trying to make as much money as possible. The frenemies palette is not going to be shit. We are working with the best of the We best. are making yeah. a palette? I didn't yeah. know that. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm, I'm working on it. We're working on it. Are you really? I don't know. Oh. I'm manifesting it. <laughs> we could probably <laughs> do happening. it. I mean, yeah. I didn't know that that was something we wanted to do. What do we name the colors like? Here, let Alfredo. me talk to our production team and see if we can. Dan. <laughs> Alfredo. <laughs> Alfredo White. Shredder Brown. Domino's. Domino's. Pepperoni uh, red, pink. Dan. What's Dan's color? What's color your beard, Dan? Whatever that color is. Brown? Sure. Yeah. People like Dan's blue eyes. Yeah, okay, blue. So blue for Dan. Dan's is. beautiful blues. <laughs> Which has to compete with Gila blue. Yeah, you can't. Oh, have true. Blue. Yeah, there's two blue. Okay, I I'll, have blue. I'll see if we can make. I don't know if that's like complicated though to it's make. Compli we want to have a good one though too. I hate putting it like shit, shit because like the merch is such good quality that's like we can't have like shit product. Well, I'll see what we can do. I'll talk to the Teddy Fresh team and see if that's something we can source. Ooh, I love that. But obviously, I won't put anything bad. That's what we made Teddy Fresh because all their inf influencer merch is like. You can't do anything fun or interesting. Yeah. It's super cheap, and it's all just about making money. Yeah, your guys' Teddy Fresh is like, I'm very excited for our frenemies. Yeah, it's going to slap. It's yeah. going to be the best. My goal, my dream, too, is like if this first drop does well, which I think it will, you know. Our next one, I want us to get more creative. Yeah. Like we can have a design session, me and you, Ooh. and actually make like – embroideries and patches and art uh, and make something like a real collection that's not just merch but like, like art. we're like yeah. streetwear yes yeah, exactly actual streetwear i mean like, I, well the friendly stuff is kind of streetwear like the silhouettes yeah they're cool but like i think we could do something really creative and interesting i'm excited yeah i love how i got in there like i found my way into the teddy fresh world I'm so honest. Hey. Because you remember the first ep the first time I met you on the podcast, I was like, you guys should like do this for like other influencers. And you're like, no. Because it was like, you know, you're so like, you just want to do your own thing. But I was like, I got in there. Because I wanted to be one of those people that you did that for. And I'm in. I'm in. <laughs> I don't know how well, I did, well, but I'm in. Yeah, I don't want to do it for other influencers because it's like, first of all, we're all super fucking busy making our own shit. Yeah, but you could help people find people. But I, I know what you're saying. But I, that's what I was saying the first time. And you're just like, no, busy. I don't. Yeah, we don't want to over... I'm not interested in working with influencers. That's just, just that's me. a whole dumb, stupid market. Yeah, but for us, we're going to go all out. I love it. I yeah. think I snuck into this world somehow. Well, remember when we I snuck it through the back. I was like, here the I The back go. door tri uh, through Moses. Moses is the back door. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, at first you thought I wasn't even going to pay you. I know. Damn. I got paid. Now Actually, I, I'm not got, I haven't got paid yet, but maybe I'll get paid. I'm, yeah. You, mm. you always pay me. Thank you. Of course <laughs> I do. <laughs> All right, so now it's like, yeah. We make so much money now, you have to delay the payment. You're like, now nah, I gotta wait a couple weeks. Oh, yeah. So I think that's everything. That's booze. That's cool. You were on it, though. It paid right on the 15th. I was like, okay. Yeah, you know, we're serious. I check my bank account every day because I'm always scared I'm gonna get hacked. So I check it every single morning. So when I saw You're it in there, I, was what? Like, I check my bank account every morning. Like, because why? Do you do that? Or no. I'm, okay, I must be the only one because everyone's like, no, but I don't. You're, you're, you check it for what? I always think like my bank account's getting hacked or something. Oh, you're afraid. Well, don't you have like a CPA looking through your shit or any any kind of financial? Yeah, I person? do. I guess I just like always am worried like someone's taking stuff. Out. I don't know. I just I check it every day. I'm like a crazy like as soon as I wake up. I, check, I don't. Check. I check. I go through our finances a lot because that's just something I do yeah. for us. But I don't check it like first in the morning where I go wake up in a sweat and I'm like, oh fuck. Let me I check do. That I do that. It's so weird. No, I don't do that. To make sure everything's in, like I have multiple. The thing ones, is, I'm our bank checking. accounts are pretty secure. Like, no, I, mine is too because I get like notifications and stuff like that. But yeah. like, I don't know. It's just so weird. Anyways, so I check it every morning, and then on that fifteenth or sixteenth, I'm like, I'll make you ever see anything it. weird? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like sometimes I'll be, I don't recognize things, so yeah, you know, I check it out. Good for you. <laughs> Got to check your money. Keep your <laughs> mind on your money and your money on your mind, right? <laughs> <laughs> so weird. This episode's so weird. Um, so <laughs> uh Bryce, there's one little Bryce Hall thing, and then we'll talk about Scotty Sire. Bryce, oh. He, well, he was our previous douchebag of the month last month, so I'm doing a little update. You on should him. go through your DMs and show all the celebrities that you missed DMing you. <laughs> and Bryce Hall was one of them. Yeah. Bryce, okay, I, Bryce so Hall DM'd T Pain you. did this TikTok where he's like, yo, I didn't realize you could that there's like unsolicited messages from verified accounts here and he's like i've been ignoring all these people for years and i was like oh fuck me too and then you went to go look and then i looked and there's all these verified people who was DMing. the top one was it bryce yeah bryce was it well he was the most recent like really big account he uh -huh. messaged me being like yo i want to come on your show and i was like oh, here. no but it goes by followers so was he the top because it goes by who has no, the followers i think it's about well I wanna see. Here, let's so see <gasps> is it general or request no, no, request. We have to go to request. Yeah, request. And then verified. 
So I go top requests. Yeah. No. Oh. Wait, what is all this? This isn't it. Yeah, it is. It is. Here, can I see it? That was it. There it is. Oh, so Bryce, Bryce Hall is at the top. He is the most. No, oh. Mr. Beast has more. Oh, weird. So, because it's about relevance. Mine's not. Mine goes by followers. Wow. Who are all these people? Jason Nash messaged me. Eee, that did not age well. <laughs> Jason Nash messaged me and I didn't respond 92 weeks ago. I feel so. I do feel What's bad. What's he say? He said, hi, I appreciate you. Eee. Oh, I shouldn't show that. I feel bad. Why? Right back things. <laughs> I just feel bad because I did. I was ignoring you, him all this. Jason time. is the one person who hasn't taken any accountability. I know. For I know. Anything. No, just on the human level, I feel bad because no, I just ignore. Well, I ignored everybody. He's a shit person, and until he apologizes or acknowledges something that he did in the wrong, which is like literally forcing someone to kiss I, him. I don't know who most of these people are. To be totally honest with you, Wait, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Here, tell me if you know. This is so exciting. Me. Oh, okay. Hey, legend. This is so cool. I don't know who people love you. Who's that? Oh my god! Ink tattoo? Okay. Why? I don't even have tattoos. They want to give. You, oh, they, it's in a story. Okay, I didn't do this anything. This is so fun. Do you know any of these people? Oh, ew! Wait, who did he say? <gasps> oh, okay. You say oh, who it is. okay. Sorry. <laughs> do we say it though? The audience has no idea what you guys. That guy's oh, like because, a creeper. <laughs> because I don't want Trisha to. That guy's like a. He's he's a actual p word. Okay, good. I'm closing my phone. P three. P three D O. P3DO. <laughs> R23PDO. That's him. All right, let's move on. He's a tattooer. We can say him. He's he's gross. He's been put on blast. Like he's I don't want to say anything because I don't know anything about him. And I But it's facts. There's okay, no facts. Okay, but I don't I'm not gonna put someone on I just he's let's not a, talk not, about not a P3DO. They deserve to be put on blast. You should I don't know. know anything about he's him. I literally offender. never even heard of his name. <laughs> he admitted to it. Okay, fine. Let's not. Let's just not. That's what we do. Let we have to let people know about sex offenders I, in the area. I literally don't know anything about this guy. Wow. He sent me unsolicited DM, and now you're ready to fucking like. I hate when people do that kind of DM, though, because he was trying to say, like, he has issues with someone that you have issues with. I hate that kind of bonding. It's like, oh, I also hate this person. So enemy let's of my bond. enemy. Yeah, I don't like that. Enemy of, enemy of my enemy is not always my friend. Enemy of my enemy is not always my friend of me. Mm-hmm. Is now my friend of me. You want to watch Bryce Hall be a fucking douche for a minute? No, I don't like it. It's really, dude, that guy, he's like on steroids or something. I never would. <sighs> never mind. He's so unstable. I just, every time I watch him, he's so unstable and mentally just so unhealthy. Well, we don't want to like give him a diagnosis of being unstable. Maybe he's fine. Maybe he's trolling. Maybe he's no. on roids. I'll, I'll ignite. Yeah, exactly. He's on roids. Oh, sorry about that. You too, bitch. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was bad. That was bad. Hey, oh my God. Oh my God. Just go back. He just <laughs> called some random girl passing by him a bitch. Okay, wait. Can you play it again? I, he I called some it. random girl passing by a bitch. And What'd then his do? boyfriend came back and was like, yo, you better apologize. And he bitched out and got all let me see. Beta. Does he, does oh, let's go. go. Oh, sorry about that. You too, bitch. No, I'm kidding. That was bad. <laughs> that was bad. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Just going back. She's going back. It was a joke. It was. Uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. It was a it's joke. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Whoever you are. No, no, no. It was a joke. It was a joke. I'm sorry. Appreciate you apologize. Oh, it's go. not really a joke. Uh, but he did kind of like put yeah. it out. He's just like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, so which is funny because he's always the tough yeah, guy yeah, in all yeah. his clips. Like, fight me, pussy. I'll fight. And I was like, ah, <laughs> you're a little bitch, actually, in real life. And to like a girl, too. I was like, you're okay. Okay, so that's it. So Scotty Sire apparently. Maybe we should call him Bitch Hall. Little Bitch, bitch Hall. hall. <laughs> bitch, you going down to Bitch Hall? It's like a hall full of bitches. <laughs> I like that. That's him. Okay, bitch hall. He I, he wants to come on our show so bad and fight and like try to like. I think he wants to fight. <laughs> no, he wants to cause a scene and get all tough because he does these videos where he goes to like his haters' house and be like, "Come on, son, fight me, pussy." <laughs> That's actually kind of funny though to like because he wouldn't do anything because so you're just like filming him doing that and then you're just like, okay. Of course he's not gonna do anything, but no, I don't... he's awful. I mean, he's also just like gonna be irrelevant in a year. So like, what's the point? Hmm. I love seeing people come and go. I don't love seeing people come and go, but I love. That's seeing bad people manifestation. Come no, it's okay to have entertainment. No. That's like entertainment. It's not like I'm wishing what I'm not manifestation. No, maybe oh. he's on to better things after that TikTok. Maybe he's gonna become a doctor or something. You know? <laughs> Rachel's gonna become a doctor. <laughs> Never know. I'm manifesting that for him. Maybe a, Success off maybe the a dentist. He needs to be off social media, but maybe he'll succeed somewhere else in life. Like a All right, enough about Bryce Hall. Fuck him. Let's talk bitch about Hall. Bitch Hall. That's Sorry, Bitch Hall. Bitch Hall. <laughs> Scotty Sire. So we went in on Scotty Sire a little bit for his apology uh song promotion last week. I think week. I went in pretty hard on him. Uh, oh, this was kind of a good tweet. This was in response to Scott, right? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. You said, what, what is it that he said before I read yours? 
Oh, oh he said okay. he was shadow banned. Right. So def, def, Oh wait, here it yeah, is. Okay, I've got it. I've got it. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so he was apparently on Discord. What is a Discord? It's like a private chat room for Where? Fans. How do you get on? We there? have a chat. We have a Discord for our members. Where do I go on that? It's, I you'll it? never figure it out. Okay. Yeah. I'll just <laughs> I don't I'll just to. I'll just save you the effort. <laughs> okay. It sounds complicated. You'll, you'll never figure it out. Everyone's on Discords. So okay. All right. So he says 60k views on my new video and no comments. <laughs> do y'all want me to fail? React to this if you think YouTube shadow banned me. So he's like begging his diehard fans <laughs> to slam slam emojis e on it. E yeah, cringe for sure. I was like, Ugh. why? What is this? The most emojied one is the laughing tongue out, which is like, I don't know if that's such a supportive emoji. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, eh. they're like, eh, eh. fuck you. <laughs> like, I just don't think that's a supportive emoji. I did that emoji on him. I went, eh. you did that one. Yeah. So you quote tweeted and said, or maybe it's him telling victims of SA, which is probably at least seventy five percent of his audience victims of SA. I'm sure about 75 They oh, say like staff? every girl has so, had oh, it and you, probably one in every two guys have had SA. You're every saying girl the has majority of his fans are female? No, no, no. Or I'm saying women? every single woman has probably experienced SA or knows someone they haven't seen. And mm -hmm. with men, it's like one in two, they say. So I was okay, saying so, like, I'm like giving an average. I got it. Okay. Got it. Got it. So you're telling them how to feel and how they're supposed to react. So anyway, this is when, when you came with a real slam dunk. You're like, yo, Scotty, sorry about to sit down and take this L. <laughs> You said, I don't know who needs to hear this, but you're not shadow banned, just irrelevant. <laughs> I mean, I've yeah. been irrelevant at least 15 times in the past couple of years, so I know. Don't be an asshole. It, then it'll get better. Yeah. I mean, I think I think I hate my, my biggest pet peeve is when people are like, hey, guys, YouTube is suppressing my videos. Shadow. It's like literally like, no, <sighs> literally people. If people want to see your videos, they'll go like to your channel and look for them. You know what I mean? The like, truth, the hard truth. You know, the hard truth to take is I think there are some exceptions where where individual videos will get suppressed for, like, getting a mature rating or something. Yeah. Like you say, when you do the Adam and yeah, Eve ones, because it gets, like, mature rating yeah. stuff. But the hard truth to swallow is that most of the time when that happens, <laughs> it's because people are not clicking your videos. Yeah, like, And literally. so YouTube doesn't show it to people. Yeah. I don't know why he's shocked. I mean, he's been a complete asshole this year and tone deaf for sure. But also, like... Your whole videos were just starring David, and now David's not in them, so of course nobody cares about you anymore. Like, it's not that hard to figure out. One plus one equals three, or two, or four, whatever the fuck that saying is. One plus one equals... Is it saying is that one? it's wrong? No, go ahead. Keep one plus one equals three means it's wrong, though. One plus one equals three? That's the saying. I don't think say. that's a saying. Just say is like, that a saying? Yeah, when you're trying to prove somebody wrong, you're like, okay, that's like saying one plus one equals three. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so anyways, it doesn't surprise me, but yeah, but it's, this is, a, it, it's been other people too that are like, guys, I'm being no, I shadow hear that banned all the time. You hear that literally? Nobody cares all about. the time. It's YouTube fine. just showing my video to my fans. It's like, well, <laughs> so probably not clicking it. And and then when you say it, you sound even more pathetic. I'm like, okay, well, even if you are like, they're not searching for you then. The people are the, not seeing your videos. They don't give a fuck. Like I'll I search for people. I always search for people if I don't see their videos. It's a hard pill to swallow because you want to blame. You want to scapegoat YouTube and not blame yourself, but tr but truthfully, you know, you got to fight to to stay to keep your vids fresh and keep get people clicking. People are clicking YouTube's and is going to show it to people. It's the same with all social media, Instagram. It's called the algorithm. Yeah, it is. His it, the problem is his. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the problem is his algorithms are getting crushed. He also hasn't posted in like two months and he's like, why is no one looking at my video? It's like, Ugh. and also you literally victim blamed like everybody that's ever been assaulted. So, okay. But what happened? He texted you over an apology, you said. Well, I think I, I, was, I think it wasn't even that. Oh, I think it was after that because we had put the show out and a lot of people thought I was a little harsh on Scott. I don't think I was harsh, actually. I don't take it back. I don't take anything back. I said, I don't think I was harsh at all. But some people in the comments, even of our podcast, like, oh, I think she went a little harsh on Scott. And then I put out that tweet. And, I th and like, right away, not right away, the next day, he, the day we went, he You're going to read me. his text? Should I not? I'll paraphrase. I mean, it was nice, right? So it, it was a it, long it, it will make text. him look good. Right. So I think Read a little it. bit of okay. Let's just weigh the pros and cons. I'll, I'll do a little. I'll just do a little paraphrase. paraphrase. Yeah. yeah okay. So I think like. First thing is like apologies do go like such a long way, right? When David Dobrik said in his apology video that like, he was gonna personally apologize to people that he's hurt or offended. He didn't call you. And didn't call me. <laughs> that e that was even or more of like death that I'm aware of. Yeah, I was like. Uh, that even was more offensive. So, right. you know, like to even save face, even if Scott's doing this to save face because he knows I'm going to talk about it because I have a loud mouth, you know, and be like, okay, it's going to make me look like a good person. 
even that I, I, I'll take because I think still it's still like, point. Yeah, I still want a little bit of like an apology. And it feels like it feels good. Also, but also Scott apologizing to me was weird because I didn't need an apology from him. So I don't really know why he was apologizing because he was. Well, I think he felt bad. I think he felt that bad. He triggered me I with think the- he just all around feels bad with how he his everything. He got so slam dunked by defending and atta- defending David slash attacking Seth. Yeah, hopefully he apologized to Seth. I mean, hopefully he reached out to him because honestly, I was triggered. I guess he was apologizing for triggering me or something. I don't know. Honestly, it was sincere. I like. I've what always, did he say? He said he goes. Should I just read it or no? Okay, can we get a room <laughs> temp? I don't know. How that is works. it okay to read? Okay, I'll paraphrase. Okay, okay. Don't I mean, read it. Don't like read it verbatim. I I don't think he would mind because it's like he's nice. He looks good. Yeah. But maybe so, it's better to par- just yeah. paraphrase. So I'll paraphrase. Um, okay, so he did say he wanted to apologize for triggering. I was trying to figure out what he was trying to apologize for. <laughs> yeah, like, why you know? are you messing with me? <laughs> well, because I was so angry. And you know what about me is, is I get really heated and angry. And then I can, if someone, that's what I'm saying. If someone apologizes, even if it's insincere, it means so much. Like, all I wanted was for Jason and David to acknowledge that, like, what they did with the Tana thing was like, by the way, did you see Tana comments on my TikTok? I made a TikTok saying, like, oh, the time David tried to force me and, like, my 45 year old boyfriend to have a threesome with mm-hmm. 19. And then she commented on that and she goes, tag yourself. She goes, I'm the 19 year old who's in therapy because of this. Did you see that? So she obviously right. had some, you know, trauma from that too. So right. anyways, and that's all I ever wanted from them. All I ever wanted was like an acknowledgement. Like, hey, instead they said that I was the problem and they tried to make me apologize to Brandon, the guy that was dating a minor. They just tried to make me the, anyways. So apology is all I've ever wanted from them. I didn't really need one from Scott, but I appreciate it. Nonetheless, same thing with Jeff when he apologized. Again, the sincerity of it, I think it's pretty sincere, but you know, maybe some people say they're just doing this to save face. Either way, I think it's a, you know, because he knows I'm going to say this and then Daddy Dave is going to hear this. And so Daddy Dave is going to know Scott's talking to me and gonna be like, what the fuck? Why are you talking to church? So I thought it was a big move, you know, mm. because he probably could get in trouble for talking to me because I'm freaking. I, don't I know, think like, that. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's very cult like where they're like, how could you talk to Trish? Right. Or apologize right. to her. You're admitting to guilt or whatever the fuck. Right. Um, but he said, I apologize for triggering you. Um, he goes, I'm ashamed I made the video. Uh, it was wrong of him. He's like admitting that he's wrong to question Seth's motive. He said he was coming from a biased perspective. Um, and he says it took some videos and commentary from you and others to realize the magnitude of my fuck up, which I think is a big thing too, because when mm-hmm. people have called me out, I don't realize it. Sometimes you don't realize like what you're doing. And I believe that was Scott. I really do think he was just trying to give David points. Me too. He was an investor in the app, so he's trying to save face for him. It was so I think it was stupid. just his friend. He's like, yo, I love my friend. No, he only ever gets disappointed in people. It's like he right. was just so fucking and I also out think, of touch. I don't know. I could just tell from that video. Maybe he's never been a victim of SA because the way he was just talking was so insensitive. I hope he feels manipulated by David, though, because let's not forget that in Scotty's video, David sent him receipts. Yeah, to use I think that's Seth. it. David's like, look, I'll show you. And then Scott's like, OK, I'm going to. Try- he's fired up. He's like, oh, this is a slam dunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, so he said he's taking time to reflect. Um, and then he said he wasn't trying to blame his mental health because my other issue is mm, people right. blaming like mental health and stuff and saying they're depressed or whatever. And then did he send you an audio file of his song, the full version? No, but he did have a clarification about a song lyric. That okay, you were good. About. Oh, okay, good, good, good. <laughs> so after all this, he said, um, uh, you know, he was, it was really nice. And then he goes, uh, I know, blah, blah, blah. He goes, I know sometimes I can still be an asshole. But it, this is what he wanted to clarify to you. He said, Ethan asked. Oh, this for me? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. He said, also, so he did this whole thing. He said he was an asshole. But, you know, I do accept Scott's apology. I was just triggered a little. I still thought it was very insensitive. But hey, if someone apologizes, like, you should try and forgive them and give them another chance. I think this was. What did he thing. say about okay, me? Okay, okay. So you were confused by the line from his song that says, I live a good life and pretend that it blows. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, he's pretending. Yeah. Got no, it. you didn't know. You were like, wait, so he's pretending that his life Well, he sucks? goes, I live a good life and pretend it blows. I was like, it sounds like someone who's just like trying to be act depressed for clout. Right, right, right. That he's like faking it. And he did it. He said, he goes, that was the second song I wrote. And then he goes, it was one. It was satire. And then he goes, it was poor, poor lyricism. He goes, but you hit the nail on the head with what I meant. So what I said he meant mm. was that so people he, think he has a really cushioned life. But, you know, even though he has a cushioned life, he still can be depressed. Okay, so what his message to me is that it was poor lyricism. Poor lyricism. Okay, thank and you, And that Scott. I was right about his... Did he apologize rate. to me for his poor lyricism? He did apologize mm. for it. Um, he he goes, owes us all an apology for that. He says, I know you don't like me. He's like, but I want to send an apology anyway, which I thought was, you know, I take some guts. He seems nice. Because honestly, I, I mean, no one was still coming for Scott except for me. So he really didn't have to do that, you know. That video, dude, he should be pissed at David because he was all, like good. Everybody liked him. I liked him. Everyone, big, yeah. like, anyone who talked okay, about people we're, like. Okay, we're, we're good with Scott now. Scotty. We're Scotty, neutral. We're neutral. Okay, neutral He still good. thinks David's a good person. So that's questionable, but we'll say neutral. Did he say that? 
like in his videos. Okay. So, hey, it's cool. You know what? And David could be a good person to some people. Exactly. People, it's not like good or bad. People are except David for Dobrik. Team Star, you know. No, David Dobrik's also a shit person. But I, I've never met, yeah. I'm just saying, like, it's a, it's just oversimplifying the entirety of a human being to say, oh, he's a good person, oh, he's a bad person, you know what I mean? Because people are so complex. Other than Keemstar, he is an objectively, like, totally undebatably bad person. You don't have to comment on that. David Dobrik is also unobjectively a bad person. Well, I, my point is, is that Scotty thinks he's a good dude. I'm sure some people, I'm sure Keemstar's girlfriend thinks he's a good dude. Probably not. <laughs> I'm sure Faze Banks thinks he's a good dude. Probably not. I think he does. Faze probably talks shit behind his back. Guarantee. Faze blinks. If he does think he's a good person, it's because he has one operating brain cell. No comment. Faze blinks. That's what I call him. Okay. Did you know that? I know that. You tell me that all the yeah, time. Yeah, I love. I think that's a really good nickname. I help Bryce how bitch all. Do you know that? Yes, that was really good. <laughs> well, Faze Blanks, they he they did a podcast with Keemstar talking about the lawsuit. And then, of course, Keemstar's tap dancing that I'm going to owe $150 billion and I'm going to go to jail for six months. And then Faze Blanks goes, to be honest, Jake Paul is a billion times smarter than Ethan. And, wow. And let's just say I'm not going to come out here and toot my horn like I'm the smartest guy in the world. But Faze Blanks, uh, let's object. Let's be objective here. I'm, I don't know. I'm fucking you. Albert Einstein compared to Jake Paul. We don't know. What if Jake Paul's a genius? I would say no. Jake Paul probably has the IQ somewhere around the, let's say, a. Um... You know what's interesting? <laughs> what? Um, dinosaurs. Okay. <laughs> no, this... it's not interesting. Okay, it's not interesting. You're right. Okay, let's move on. Do you want to say your dinosaur fact? Yeah, so like if you look at like a brontosaurus, who's like one of the big, the biggest land mammal that ever walked Earth or close to it. There are these massive creatures, obviously, but What's they're it called a bronchiosaurus. Bronchiosaurus. Oh. It's one of the ones with the huge neck, you know, and that little. So their brains were so small; their brains were like the size of a dime. Mm -hmm. So I would say Jake Paul is bronchiosaurus level IQ. What's your dinosaur IQ? I'm a pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. I don't know how air, I don't know how aerodynamic you are. I am. I can fly. <laughs> There's a new Jurassic World at Universal. Did you go on it yet? No, I haven't been to Universal in a while. I want to though. I'll take what theater. What are you? There. You're a T Rex. You got baby arms. Thank you. You're Good analogy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> baby handed T Rex. <laughs> you look like a T Rex. You know why T Rex have little tiny hands? Why? It's because they're such adept hunters. They evolved out of having the use of arms to make their head bigger and to make their bodies more agile. I've been listening. I've been learning a lot about dinosaurs because because Theodore's obsessed with them. That's dope. Yeah, T Rex are really cool animals. Actually, are we playing the meme game? Oh my god, I forgot about the meme game. Do you want to talk about the dog killers real fast? I had more about yeah, that. Yeah, I've always hated Nikki Philippi. That's my biggest flex. Get to, uh, <laughs> get to the meme game today. <gasps> well, we can sure. save it. We're having no! fun. People always get mad when we rush, so let's just, just have the fun. Meme game. Well, we always have next week. We've got about 15 minutes left. We'll probably so. have time to do a couple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's you your one better. name. Yeah. I love that one. Damn. Okay, so, that, well, anyway, the dog killers, you guys probably all heard. I talked about it on Friday. You've talked about I've it. I've always, oh, wait, I haven't talked about it. Where have I talked about it? You didn't talk about it on Twitter anywhere? No. Or TikTok even? No. Oh, you're slacking. Because, no, they'll take it down on TikTok. TikTok's so strict uh, about stuff like that, like animal God, abuse TikTok and stuff. TikTok got so soft lately. <laughs> It's okay. It's a safe space for people. But I have always hated Nikki Philippi. There's old videos of me saying she she was that girl that had like 50,000 subscribers and had like four assistants and they would do like group meetings at like a tea, like a coffee bean and tea leaf. And she was my team and I are meeting. She was always that bitch. And I was Be just careful. Like, She's going to send you a note from her legal team. <laughs> she don't have legal team. <laughs> they're very like super Christian, which th they give so, a bad name, which I fucking hate. Like I just, oh, they're so annoying. Okay. So I learned a lot about her and I, I actually think those two couple are like beyond fucking, uh, wow. Just horrible. They were so going to adopt. Their a, yeah. So their dog, you got just up okay, to you guys really quickly. Their dog that they've had for 10 years, part of their family. I, then they got, since it was a very young, beautiful puppy, I think, or a very young dog. He made, they made all this content with the dog that was like, oh, their child and baby. So he nipped the kid, didn't leave any 
permanent damage or anything. It was just a nip. Didn't even leave a scar. And so he's like, I wanted to take the dog and back and kill him like old Yeller. But we took him the next day to the vet and put him down. And everyone's like, first of all, you're, insa- uh, you're insane for so many reasons. Okay, obviously. So that, crazy. That's the Reader's Digest. <clears throat> but then when I started digging in, I think this is what you were going to talk about. Yeah, they're psychotic. They're so they, they were trying to adopt a kid. From oh, here, let me let me oh, let me play I asked this. For that and- so they were trying Ew. to adopt the kid from Thailand and listen to why they dropped the adoption. And she was like, Well, yes, but also Thailand has a its own law that's unique to it that um after you are you pick up your child and they're your child, you are not allowed to talk about them or share any images, photos, videos, anything about them online for a year. Hmm, maybe it's to protect the child from freaks <laughs> like you. Yeah, like the couple who did that on YouTube, they sent their baby back to China after two years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, That's like, them. <laughs> that would definitely be them. What is with people? It's so crazy. Yo, so they didn't adopt the baby because they couldn't film it for a year. <laughs> they couldn't make content with this baby for a year. So they're like, ah, fuck this kid. We didn't like him anyway. They're so He's like, psycho. yo, I was about to take that kid in back like old Yeller. That's oh what he said God. about his dog. That's crazy. It's so insane. It's so nuts. That story. Yeah, I hate that. Okay, so then there's another one. Um, hang on, I've got a lot. I've got a lot of uh, juice on them. Uh, currently under fire, putting their dog. I saw that like, one. Also, I mean, this is like why? Like I don't know. The whole thing oh, is so. Weird. And then here's another one. They're trying to get a kid out of foster care, <laughs> and they get that. The, first of all, these people are getting denied. And then okay. here's the dog he killed. By oh. the way. Oh my Here's the God. beautiful, sweet. You can see how Bouncer sweet. Is his name. You can see how sweet and submissive that is. A loving, yeah, like, precious animal. Yeah. Did you see the clips of them like taunting him with the other little baby dog yes. and like, it's like, what are you? You guys were the assholes raising him, like, and he still seems so sweet. He was the one scared of the little dog. Like, it's so. So here's the dog uh, they killed, and then here's them oh. talking about. Um, oh my god, that's why so they couldn't foster a mm. child. Ridiculous to be like. Okay, there is a rule. You can't spank a foster child. You can't hit your child. And there's a video of them talking about how they spanked <gasps> their kids or something. He's like, oh, I'm not allowed to hit my foster kids. So, so they're this not is kids. after they had their baby? I don't. They have like a little baby now. The baby was in the picture. Mm, it's like this is old. before. I don't yeah. know what here. And then people go, oh, yeah, we spanked our kids in the past, but we don't even do it anymore. You could still. They said in our foster class. You can, I can't get over what a sweet dog this I is, know, though. Like, so fuck sad. you, dude. Take your hand off that dog, you sick oh, fucking dog I, murderer. Oh, my God. They make me so sick. Sad. They're such weirdos. Parent your kids however you want to. If you still spank them. Look how the dog loves you. How could I you know. betray that dog? I would rather die than. That's so weird. It's so confusing. Look how that dog loves and trusts you, dude. Oh, my God. Shame on you. It's so sad. You know, the reason he put the dog down is because the his kid kept, like, grabbing. And, and Theodore does the same thing. He's around the same age. He doesn't understand how to be gentle with the dog, so he grabs him and stuff. Right. And sometimes the dog's growled him. But you have to you have to put in the time to so that everybody learns how to interact yeah. with each other. Or just send him to a house with no kids, like Dalmatians. They always get, like, rehomed and shit. Yeah. Why didn't they do that? Did they have an excuse for it? They said, oh, we couldn't rehome him because he was too. he's been with us for too long. Well, <laughs> someone would take the dog. Yeah, of course. But but so apparently when the dog's eating and the kid grabs at the food, the dog like uh, snips at him. So it's like, okay, put the dog in the closet and feed him <laughs> where the kid can't fight. Like They're how, a psycho. Like, I just, and why did they post a video about it? That was so weird. They th- That's the weirdest part. They thought they were going to get all the sympathy views. What, what? Look, how this, look how this dog trusts him. Dude, I yeah. hope you watch this video oh, man, and feel like a murderer. So sad. Oh, my God. I love my dog so much. I would never, ever do anything he to hurt him. Wasn't he only like nine? He's not that old. I mean, eight like, or something. Even. Yeah. Yeah. Not that old. He's Dogs bad. can live up to like, you know, 14, 15 years. That's fine. But you can't spank, spank a foster kid. They now, have to negate you. They actually said you might want to consider changing that. Right. But they can't make you. Yeah. But they. Okay, dude. How about don't hit your kids Wait, and don't so kill your dogs? Issue? What's the issue? Like they. Appa- apparently he wants to be able to spank his <laughs> foster kid. <laughs> and they're like, you can't do that. Wait, they told the foster system that? They're like, we want to spank our kids? Here, let's, let me That's play so it. Weird. I don't let, get it. Uh, let me play it. They, Supposedly. The time, if there's two different types of discipline going on in a household, it causes more issues. But 
to hear someone say, I don't do it anymore, and then deny them because they've spanked their kid in the past mm-hmm. is <laughs> completely crazy. No, it's crazy. they did that kid a favor. And it doesn't make any sense in the <laughs> it's not crazy. process of some Christian or- or organizations. Quote, unquote, it Christian sounds, organization. It's so dumb. Yeah. It's so dumb. And I... Yeah, well, oh, you killed your dog uh, that loved you unconditionally. <gasps> That's so sad, like that dog It is right sad. There. Oh I mean, God. that dog deserves the whole world. We're not worthy of dogs. are angels on earth, and we're not worthy of them. You know, I was never a dog person before my dog, and he literally does just give, like, so much love. That's all they do. All they do is, like, just want to kiss you and, like, love you. It's like That's it. Hmm. You know, for a Christian, he killed an angel, so. Yeah, they're, like, human. They're, like, a living being. You're not supposed to just, like, kill Dude, them. my dogs are my kids. They're my children. Stop there. Well, on that note. That kind of leads us to where we're at right now. I it's hard to even understand what kind of psychotic they're shit. So they're so weird too, and like videos, the way they talk about like trauma, it's like such a weird. So that I, I honestly, uh, these I don't know, bro. Well, they they've been canceled. Like I think you mentioned on the Friday show, they get only like twenty thousand. No one really cares about them, but now they're really. That video was just so bizarre, and then in they, the video, is it still up. It's still up, but they disabled. No, that. why yeah. do they keep it up? I just can't go over in that original video. He goes, I grew up watching <laughs> Old Yeller. So stupid. And I wanted to take him in the back and kill him, right? <laughs> and put him down like that. You know what Old Yeller is? Yeah. It's a dog that got yeah, rabies yeah. defending the family. And it was this heart-trenching moment because rabies is is deadly, incurable in a dog. Yeah. And it makes them act violent. So he had to put down the family dog that saved their lives. Your dog took a little nip at your kid, didn't harm him at all. A very solvable situation. And you want to put him out like old yeller? They're, Fuck you. they're nuts. I hate, I've always not liked them. So angry about that. Yeah. That's really, that was really sad. That was really. <laughs> Free Britney, whatever. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> oh, they, so they're, okay, about Free Britney. You might find this interesting. Okay. The reason. There was a big mystery around how her dad, Jamie Spears, was able to get into this conservatorship to begin with. The judge, for example, in the documentary said that um, there's a reason that he's not going to disclose that, like, apparently is. So what he got her in, he marked her as having dementia. At 27. (laughs) At 27? 27. When she was, like, still touring and stuff. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Good. Dementia. Damn. So anyway, she's she's going to go soon, coming up in June, is going to get to speak on behalf of herself at a consens- uh, conservatorship Ooh. hearing, which has never happened before. Wow. Do you think she's going to, though? Yeah, she's set to. She's set to appear in court on June 23rd to oh. discuss her 13-year-long conservatorship. Ooh. I wonder what's going to happen. I think there's enough public she's pressure. She's 40 now, so she's been in that for so long, like her whole 30s. It's crazy. It's absolutely fucking egregious that her, uh, her dad is obviously just a piece of shit. Yikes. So that'll be interesting. Bill Gates got a divorce. What do you think? Ooh, Eligible bachelor? Eligible bachelor. I love these TikToks of girls like twerking on him. Like, <laughs> hey, think. daddy. I would had a dream. I, yeah, I, I could go over for Bill Gates for sure. You think so? Yeah. You'd be into that? Yeah. What do you think happened? Do you think he cheated? She cheated? Dan has a really crazy theory. I want to hear it. What's the theory? You want to say it, Dan? Well, I mean, it's not just my theory. You might be hearing from his legal team. Yeah, exactly. He actually has a legal team, probably. Yeah, Bill Gates. (laughs) You don't want a lawyer from Bill Gates. No, I mean, it was reported over the weekend that um, uh, at least one of the factors is that his uh, ties to Jeffrey Epstein. Are you (gasps) familiar with who that is, Tricia? No. But we talked about him on the show before. You don't know who Jeffrey Epstein is? He died. Yes. Yes. He and did a lot, he did a lot more he did, than that. I don't okay, know assuming that. He, he got unalived. Is he, was like a, he was a no, prolific uh, trafficker of, of child sex slaves. Right. To rich and powerful people. I always forget this, but yeah, I think I remember it now. So Bill Gates had an association <gasps> with him. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah, and apparently his wife did not like that. Well. And... Uh, it's something that uh, we were discussing before the show. Is It's interesting. She started meeting with divorce lawyers, I guess, in October of 2019. And in September of 2019, uh, one month prior to that is when Ronan Farrow posted a bombshell article uh, in The New Yorker, I think, about Bill Gates' ties to him and everything. Um, so... 
They've been New Yorker? Inter- yeah, interesting timing on all of that is... Uh, so why would she not still go through with the divorce? That'd be more reason to, right? Well, she did, but she it did. like she was that, working that's, on it that's, this whole time. It's been in the works for it's a while get now. a divorce when you've got like, you know, $200 billion. I would say keep it. Good riddance. I don't want your money. Uh, I w- she's entitled to have. They've been married 30 years. Yeah, but if he has that blood money from like children and stuff, he's, like. He's got Microsoft money. Blood money. Who uses Microsoft? You don't want the 100 billion? I'm a Mac bitch. You wouldn't <laughs> take the 100 billion? No. I don't want blood money. You weren't messing with children. Take that money. I don't think he was profiting from it. He might have been. If that guy was. I'm taking the money. Take no. the money. Give it to. Okay, Trisha, whatever. You take the money. Don't I wouldn't take the money. Oh, please. If it's that those kind of ties, don't they sacrifice children and stuff? Like, oh. do you know what I'm saying? I don't want to be related to I don't want any ties to that. Take the money and then build and then make like a superhero, like an anti-trafficking league. She probably can do that anyways. If she takes the money. She has money probably. What's she doing? Her money's all Microsoft money too. Perfect. Well, she, then, she actually, she worked for Microsoft as oh, well. That's how they salary. met. salary? So. Do you mean money? I'm taking the money. I, I think I read that they didn't have a prenup. Of course not. They've been married 30 years. Well, I mean, he was, already, he was already extremely wealthy I don't like these prenup conversations. Like, people are like, oh, Bill Gates is such an idiot. He didn't get a prenup. It's like, I'm sorry. They've been married 30 years. They have three kids. She's She's been working her ass off to support this fucking guy. She deserves half. I'm sorry. That'd be like, you, if someone's like, oh, my God, you guys didn't get a prenup. You're like, oh, we had no money, so. Yeah, it's like, of course, why would, but like, she, yeah. she's been there for 30 years supporting his fucking ass, you know? Yeah. If a prenups make sense to in some situations, but in their situation, it I didn't make he sense. Cares. You can't spend that much money anyways in your lifetime. He's like, whatever, take it, bitch. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't even fucking notice. But that's what I would say with her, too. I'd be like, ah, oh, whatever. Money is whatever. I really don't care. Yeah, I like money, I, but... I'll take the hundred billion. I don't need a... What are you gonna do with a hundred billion dollars? I'll set up a fucking... I'll set up like a... I'll set up the Justice League, dude. What's that? To fight human trafficking. I'll get like superheroes. I'll have like a space station where they chill. Not then, real. Oh. Superheroes suck. Anyone who likes superhero movies are weird. <laughs> well, I hate just pissed off like half the world or um, more. For me, Marvel, Marvel. Who's geeks. Thanos? I don't know. I just Thanos you out of existence. Wow, I'm still here. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> I just put negative. <laughs> no, you're gonna get it back. You're gonna get that Thanos energy right back. I just snap myself. <sighs> Is that what he does? Because that sounds like a lame superhero. No, wow, Thanos you're is gone. awesome. Stop. Stop it. Who's the? Is he the one with the gauntlet? Yes. Okay, I see people do that because they put all the people that I don't like that have gotten like canceled. I had nothing to do with the cancellation. <laughs> see, that's a good meme. That's all right. That should one. we do a quick uh, meme game? Like I'm We're pretty Ian. much out of time. It looks like I'm. Well, we have out. we have uh we have the ad five record minutes. too. So well, fisting we don't because we have the ad. Doesn't it look like that when you go in. Why would you fist a cow? What to do you take mean? Take out the stuff. What are you talking about? That's how you take the poop out of a cow. Why are you taking poop out of a cow? I don't know. I've seen people do it, though. They tip their arm all the way up there, and they take it out. Why? What videos or are you watching? Or maybe that's how they give birth. Someone casts a stick up there, yeah, and they take the baby that out. That makes sense. Yeah. Why would you take poop out of a cow's butt? I don't know. You want to show me fisting a cow one more time? Jesus, Trisha. You got some weird <laughs> fantasies. Can I also say Elon Musk was not the first autistic person to host SNL? We just have to clarify that. It was, it, it was Dan Aykroyd. Oh, is he autistic? Yeah. And so is Moses. So he's a genius. Oh, you know what's interesting? He said he was the first person with Asperger's, but apparently that's an outdated term. Did you know that, Dan? Yeah. People were upset that he said he had Triggered. Asperger's because apparently that's like an outdated term that isn't specific enough. I, 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 I didn't, didn't know, know about that. that. I thought it was interesting. I mean, he's the one with it. Apparently they, they discontinued like scientific. I might be speaking a turn. I read this. They discontinued that diagnosis because it's not specific enough. Aspergery. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're acting a little Aspergery right now. Yeah. Me? I just no. Oh. You're fine. Mose. For sure, Aspergery. I said that to him last year. I like, think my oh. brother has that too. My brother. Oh, we needed your brother the other day. I was adding numbers together. I'm like, oh, I really wish I had Ethan's brother here right now. It's really interesting, though. The whole. Oh, what do you got? Dan- Dan's fast checking the Asperger thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, that does seem to be the case, but it it. This oh there you go Asperger syndrome is no longer this article an official is diagnosis. From April third of this year, so this is like yeah, it's a brand new thing. Well, then what do people? Ups- I mean, well, it's e- people really. It. They didn't get the memo. It's I just twenty twenty one. I just thought it was really interesting. So, what's the explanation for Asperger's being a, uh, no longer diagnosed? Uh, it was. It sounds like what you were saying. It, it, it was the diagnosis was replaced. Oh, 
it's a high functioning autism. So they felt like it was kind of like derogatory to other people with autism. It's like, oh, well, Asperger's is, we're the high functioning ones. And you people with <laughs> autism are like low functioning. Yeah, that's some bullshit. I'd be mad too. We're all the same. We're all autistic here. Well, it, yeah, it's because they say that it, there's a, what do they say? It's a scale or a, or spectrum. a spectrum. spectrum, right? Where am I on the spectrum? I wonder. Hmm. Maybe I should go see a doctor about that. I think I have too many things wrong with me. I don't think I have autism. I don't think autism. you have autism, yeah. Not that there's anything wrong with autism. I don't want to say that. I mean, there's hey, nothing wrong with you. I am just saying, you know. Yeah. Normalize that. Normalize Tourette's. There, normalize dude, there's a lot of, I mean, Bill Gates has autism. Speaking of which. Oh. He has like what they used to call Asperger's. Mm. But there's a lot, like there's a lot of people with autism that are like really fucking um, interest, like a oh, unbelievably successful interesting people you know what i mean yeah um, what is that what is it is it it's not what is it what is it classified as like not a mental illness but what would it's it not be? an illness it's like a, no, a, um, a syndrome it's kind of i guess like tourette's maybe i don't know how do you diagnose this is like the autism part of the show <laughs> It, uh, it's a developmental disorder. Developmental disorder. It's characterized by like uh, uh, having a hard time with social cues, and uh, I think that's basically it, right? Like on the high functioning end. Yeah. No ticks though. Well, on the low, on the like low functioning end, it can get really complicated. Oh. So I'm not sure how how to differentiate the two. But Tourette's is not autism different no but it's the same brain imbalance or something no different issue completely and by the way we interviewed white claw gabe just to touch oh on my that god here. nobody knows about white claw gabe on this show we interviewed white claw gabe uh, the guy goes it's friday baby yeah fuck yeah who deserves fried chicken me and because you, we were arguing about it last episode that he has Tourette's it wasn't was like, last episode it was on the bus off camera no it was we did it on the show didn't we dan interview him yeah we talked to him yeah no he's saying we talked no, about it no trisha we argued on the show she was saying that he has autism no yeah uh no that he has tourette's oh shit i mean yes tourette's. I, I think that was <laughs> yeah on we the were show. and so i asked oh, him we did? I don't know. yes and i asked him and he said no i just like saying fuck for the views baby mm. so Sounds take like the l somebody would say with tourette that you can't that's <laughs> just not that's just not cool you gotta stop i Tourette's. I do. You I really do. You have to stop pretending like you know anything about Tourette's. I like people with Tourette's. I can't say that. You can say that, but don't start diagnosing I'm people. I'm not diagnosing. You I... literally diagnosed him and then argue with me when I say he didn't have Tourette's. I you apologize. have to stop. I apologize. Thank you. I like your... Okay. Sometimes... Mm. Go ahead. Can I say something? But I don't want it to come across offensive because it doesn't mean it. I think it's funny. Go ahead. But I don't want to offend you. You will. If it is. It sounds like you're going to. I know. I'm not trying to. No, but I'm not, I noticed I'm not. something and it was really cute, but I don't want to offend it. You Go know. ahead. If I do, I'll apologize. Okay. Um, I thought it was so cute. When we were doing the, I was watching the Disneyland vlog and like your Tourette's was making the little porgy kind of like dance a little. Oh, it that's was fine. cute. Yeah, I'm not is offended that bad? by that. Is that okay? No, yeah. It was so funny. And I was like, oh, he looks like he's like dancing. <laughs> yeah, one of my, th sometimes I do like this. I thought that was I so cute. Trisha it's when we're eating the turkey funny, leg. Okay, my, go watch the Disneyland I had a porky on my shoulder that was, I guess, dancing. No, I I'm not didn't notice it in person. I'm not I offended watched, by okay, that. Okay. Yeah. It was actually cute, but I don't know if that's okay. No, that's not offensive at all. I think it's funny. Okay. A funny observation. Because sometimes I talk to myself, but that's like my, you know, voices. So that's why I was like, I don't know if that's offensive. But if someone's like, hey, Trisha's talking to herself. I don't find that offensive, no. <laughs> All right, well, we got to wrap it up, and, and uh, it's been two hours. Was this? I feel like this was low energy because it's like gloomy. You know, it was like the weekend. I thought it was fine. We kept the. I, I don't know. It is what it is. You know. I'm down to do more vlogs. I just don't know. Well, let's th let's no put a bunch of ideas angle. in a hat. Dan's doing this. No. What idea. Moses? Oh. So yeah, leave a comment, and we're smashing <laughs> like, we're subscribing. The interaction. <laughs> oh yeah, give. Oh, <laughs> guys, if you have ideas for us to vlog next, go ahead. Uh, we're all ears. If anyone has connections at Medieval Times in Scottsdale, like for us, you want to? Oh, we should joust. Yeah, I want to do that. That would be fucking awesome. Someone's uh, gonna get hurt. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. Jousting. <laughs> that sounds crazy. You think a horse could bury your load? Bury a load. What does that mean? <laughs> I said, do you think a horse can bear your load? Bury your load. Bear. Bear your load. Yeah. Like come? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the meme is. All right. 
Okay. We'll be back. <laughs> I'm so confused. Well, I weigh the same amount, so like, as the joke equally applies to me. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Can I end it? You oh, oh yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Here, All right. Mic's <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Frenemies. We will be back next Tuesday with another new episode. Baby in costume. Let us know who we should cosplay next. Don't forget to smash that like button. Hit subscribe. Turn on the bell notifications so you do not miss us. And we are not shadow banned. Shout out to Philip DeFranco, who is now a friend of the show. And uh, check him out, too. Philly D. Okay, bye. No, the microphone's gone. That's it. Bye. <laughs>